play line. What's up, everybody? It's time for video games. Look at this thing. Look at this thing down here. Oh, wait, that wasn't supposed to be on. I don't think that... Ah, oh, shucks. I don't think that uh, that command's even active. Hold on a minute. Anyway, look at this thing. So this is a controller. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, the text label's on. Um, so you can't really see the bottom part, but here's the idea. Is that you drape your hand on it, and then your thumb... Hold on a second. Boop. There we go. Clean up the clean up the space a little bit. Uh, I think I was smashing buttons, so I may have accidentally activated it with a keyboard command or something like that. All right, so you you drape your thumb here. Actually, you you can't really see the full breadth of it because I was trying to get other things on frame. But there's another paddle out on the side, so you can tab that little guy. But uh, you drape your hand there, thusly. Then you have a stick. You have a D-pad here. This is like a hat switch. And then each individual finger has three buttons it can hit. There's like uh, here. Let me do this one and make sure that it doesn't do anything in Windows. There's down, back, and forward. Each one of those are little paddles that then go to a, uh, hold on, there's an easy way to display this. Zoomp. So here's the uh, the software for it. Watch it not load this one time, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of buttons here. So each, each one is one of the paddles. You can see them kind of light up there. I've roughly bound it mostly to the like, the cluster of keys that's around where my hands usually let usually rest. Um, can you make the claw camera a little bit bigger? No, because it's going to cover up more of the game. Um, uh, and I could do it now, but then I just have to make it smaller again. So you'll just have to you'll just have to get real close to your TV or your phone or something like that because it's going to stay there the whole time. Um, actually, wait, hold on a minute. I take that back. I did have a scene set up with the two of them in it, but I don't have that. I don't have that bound anyway. You can also click the stick, you can click the D-pad, there's the D-pad going. And then these are buttons too, up here. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to hit these. Because you have to be able to like, pull your finger out and then hit a thing, and then put your finger back in. Theoretically, without whacking any of these, any of these guys here, which is really ridiculous. I can do that with my index finger, I can kind of do that with my middle finger. I cannot do that with my ring finger, especially with the other ones put down. Like, uh, does anyone have that dexterity to, like, lift, have all of your fingers down and then only lift your ring finger up and extend it out? I don't think so. I think it's kind of intended for you to just pull your hand out and then hit different buttons and then insert them back in. Uh, <laughs> you can't, says somebody, but somebody claims they can't. Well, if you get an uh, Azeron gamer controller, then you can try it yourself. And then this little guy out here. What I've noticed is, is challenging is to, like, hit... I have to really dial back the intensity of my gaming because I'll want to like I'll want to like hit the down on the pinky and then I end up like curling all of my fingers so I have to like really get used to moving each of my fingers very slightly all the paddles are pretty uh are pretty sensitive so it's pretty easy to just whack them is there only one ten for the ring finger middle finger I think or ring and pinky oh some people I think they can do it but um so yeah I'm curious to try Final Fantasy 14 with it the problem is, like, you don't, like, you, eh, the buttons go away pretty fast, really. So if, if I still want to use, like, shift and control to hit different skills, that's going to require, like, a weird level of dexterity that I, I think I'll be able to build up eventually. So we'll see. Um, but the interesting thing is, this does allow me to use an analog stick for movement and a mouse for aiming. So the, 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 the dragon style is finally here. Finally arrived. I remember using something like this a long time ago, except it was still a WASD pad that you were meant to move around with. So there's an interesting there's an interesting phenomenon that happens when you do this, is that since this treats the stick as an Xbox 360 stick, which makes it really compatible with nearly everything, um, it also means that the game flickers in between being controller and being mouse and keyboard, so the, uh, the icons next to things will flicker a lot. So get used to that, because I don't know any way around that. Um, you can bind the stick to WASD, but that does mean you don't have analog movement anymore. Cuttlefish, thank you for the sub. Ned Lobster, thank you very much. Uh, Big Gope, <laughs> thank you for the sub. Obi Fizzle, it's good to see you again. Thank you for the sub. Make sure you get everybody. If your hands get sweaty, will it break? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh oh. I already don't know where space is anymore. Is it not working? Maybe it... Hold on a minute. I thought I had space bound to the middle guy. 
Did I rebind it? No, I did. Oh, I had that running twice. Maybe that's why it was fucking up. Let's see. Is this gonna... That's supposed to be space. There we go. So now here the fun... Now the fun part is, really most things should transfer, except I can't use my left thumb to jump anymore. Now it's... My left thumb is essentially taking care of Wazd for me. Uh, and which means I have to jump with... I put it on my, my middle finger. That feels like the biggest, strongest... Like, like, that's the one that I can hit reliably pretty easily. So I don't know... I don't know about the rest of them. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how things bind. I may, um... I may not have enough buttons. But we'll see. We'll see. The good... Quote-unquote good news... Is that I can... Get to all of the menus from these guys. Or maybe that could be quick save and quick load. Oh no. I mean, most of these are bound, so I can probably figure it out, right? Let's let's. You know what? I don't need to bind shit. Actually, here, let me let me rebind quick save. That's the one I'll probably need. There we go. Apply. Also, this music is really good, so it works. Man, good shit. Good shit. Uh, hmm. I, there's, there's just buttons. There's just buttons that I, I have to like rewrite all of my brain to, to like get an idea of what the buttons are. Can we better get a bigger claw cam? Damn it. The second person who's asked. It's already pretty big. Uh, I don't want it to take the whole screen. Um, but that's probably, that probably means that I should make it bigger. If that's the gimmick, right? Where are you going? Where are you going, remote desktop? Please show up! I need I need you to be visible. Thank you. Oh, it was on my other monitor. Alright, hold on. Uh, it's pretty big. I thought so. Can you make it zoom like your face cam zoom? No! 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 <laughs> all of that stuff took work. All all of it took work. It all took time. It all took a lot of time. I can't just do it. <laughs> All right, there it's bigger now. Like it's bigger than me. That's creepy. All right, well I already played this game on hard, so whatever. Uh, I was gonna do Nomad. <laughs> I don't even. I haven't even thought about what this character is gonna look like. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. He's a nomad. He gotta be a little bit grimy, right? Your hand is the largest thing on screen. People wanted it bigger! I thought that was gonna look weird! It shouldn't be at most the size of the face cam. I agree. I agree. But, hey, it's not my call, man. Say my stream. Need to have an MS body paint connecting your head and torso. <laughs> yeah. I thought about putting it on the left side. Because that would make more sense. Like, more connected to my body. But, uh, I didn't. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know? What are you going to do? There's really nothing you can do. When you think about it. Ooh. <laughs> Should I give him, like, 90s raver hair? Because I think the answer is yes. The only thing this game is missing, the only thing, is a Dr. Seuss hat. My character doesn't have a giant Dr. Seuss hat, and that's fucked up. 
How loud is it? Are the buttons clacky or squishy? They're pretty clacky. Um, they're pretty clackety clickety. I mean, it's it's good. It's it's they're fun to click, but uh, I I was worried it would actually get picked up on the mic because they're pretty clickety clackety. But I don't think that that's happening. Hmm. Green? I guess yeah. If it's a '90s raver, it would be green. But yeah, very mechanical. <laughs> exactly. I actually moved away from hyper clickiness with the uh, switches in my keyboard, but um, the uh, the gamer claw only came with those uh, switches. So there, there it should, there it shall be. got cherries are cherries are pretty clicky right uh, I I used I mean I used to write a ton so having a really clackety clickety keyboard was uh was dangerous I mean I would write an inside gaming script every day and then blog articles and stuff so yeah my previous partner was not super thrilled with having a Boys. machine gun keyboard nug tug thank you for the cheer I had to tell the jaw with that beard in the way. Actually, I kind of like that. Can we get you to turn? Oh, I can. Oh, that's weird. You can, like, stick and mouse at the same time. Oh, wait. Rotate is Q and E. Uh, oh, that's okay. Okay, I found him. Q and E. Easy. Easy. I know exactly what I'm doing. See, look at this. Look at, the, look at this power right here. I can rotate so fast without taking my hands away from anything. <laughs> it's all available to me. It's all right here. I've got it all at my fingertips. The entire universe at my command. <laughs> the power of the sun and the palm of my hands. Hmm. I do want my cyber guy to look just a little bit bloated. Actually, that one's all right. Okay, we'll go back up to the... I'm good with that one. I'm good with that one. I'm good with that one. All right. Yeah, give him big ol' ears. I don't know. '90s raver guys were just gross, right? Just crunchy, just crusty. I think he just needs a little bit of, a little bit of fuzz. I don't think I have escape bound to anything. Oh, that's okay. I don't need it. Who needs it? I mean, this guy's not supposed to be hecka cybery, so I don't know if I'm going to go with a whole lot of visible cyberware. Oh. Do you f does it feel like you're holding a robot's hand? No, because it's not holding me back. Weird that you can just have a perma black eye. It feels like um, mm. I don't know. I, I, I once I have more time with it, I might have a better, a better feeling for it. Right now, it just feels it feels foreign. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it matching the eyes. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no teeth was a pretty good option. Oh, that's some weird teeth tech. Those actually look pretty real. Does it feel like you're holding the hand of a disinterested robot lover? Um, that might be the case, maybe. Feels like I'm trying to convince it to give me, like, a bag of chips or something. It feels like I'm interacting with a complicated vending machine.
Eh, I don't know if I'm feeling lip makeup. This is a this is not a makeup sort of fella. No nonsense. I don't really see any blemishes. Oh, maybe you have to give them color. Oh, they're freckles. I see. Oh, okay. Eh, eh. Can't wait for the future when they have to market to 80 year old gamers. RGB dentures will be rad. Yeah, that has. Marketing to, to elderly hasn't really happened yet. The closest you get is like some of the stuff Nintendo did with like face training and brain training. Why would I turn off my sweet nipples? Also, why is my dick hanging out? I kind of like that. Gonna play near Replicant? Eh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I I played, I played near Replicant or near Gestalt specifically back when it came out. And it was it was good. And it was interesting. I guess um, I mean a a re-release is a good excuse to get back into it. Oh, we're going tiny, tiny little guy. That's actually not that small. That could be smaller, and I kind of wish it were, but that's okay. Yeah, it should be smaller. Definitely could be smaller. How long have you had the claw? A couple of days. I haven't really used it for much. Alright, F. Which one is F? I think it's you? Oh, it is! I did it! Okay. I'm figuring it out. Just started, but I'm going to lurk in stream while I play Doom 2016 GL with the Cyberclaw. Man, good luck. Good luck. Good luck breaking all your high scores. Shattering them. Absolutely destroying them. I think the story will be the same with Replicant. I... I, w I mean, I would say yeah, but given that it's Yoko Taro, man, who knows? Who knows? So I think um, I want re reflexes, evasion and crit, and Manus Blade damage. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to be a. I want to be a techno ninja, cyber ninja. So while like all dodging and uh, Sam Sam Deviston's uh, abilities, double jumps and flips. Which is not intelligence. Yeah, I think it's reflexes. Is probably what I want to focus on. Mecha Arc. Hey, thank you for the resub. The year worth of subs. I appreciate that. Stealth damage. Mono wire damage. Hmm. Probably body. I'm gonna put the system shot games, of course. I talk about those all the time. Well, maybe not all the time. Fairly often. But yeah, big fan of big fan of uh, System Shock. Okay, let's do it. Reflexes with certain perks and athleticism. Okay. Oh, uh, shampoo. This is called the Azeron. A Z E R O N. Yeah, it's not called the Cyber Claw. I just made that up because it sounded cool. There's my guy. Well, the, the reflection didn't immediately destroy the game, so that's something. <laughs> he does look like a little bit of a loser. Kind of what I was going for. He's an angry boy, though. This is going to be our, like... This is going to be the character that I try my best to, like, buy into Johnny's bullshit 100%. Very much like anti-corp, you know, fuck the system, who cares? Everyone's going to die. Like... Died in the wool, old punk is kind of what I'm looking for. Oh, Una, thank you very much for the sub. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. All right, C. That's a button. I bound it to something. All right. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. So here's what's crazy. Up is forward on the stick. But, like, it's going to take me a while to get used to that. Um, you can change the angle of it, which is pretty nice. Uh, so you can change the angle that forward is considered. 
But just like in a vacuum, sometimes I my thumb doesn't know what straight back looks like or what straight back feels like. So, but this is the point. It's to uh, C. Where's C? There it is. It's to figure out, uh, or it's to get used to this controller. Oh boy, I don't think is Z bound. There it is. Oh boy, C. Okay. All right, I'm figuring that. I'm figuring it out. Basically, what I wanted to do is bind a lot of the keys that are around the Waz cluster to the uh, to the paddles, so I wouldn't have to just completely relearn my entire life. But that seems like I'm gonna have to do that to some degree anyway. All right, out of the way, Buster. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Zing got him. Oh, look, he's pouty now. Look at you. So, so upset. Look at how upset you are. Beep, 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 beep. You just got fucking trucked by a dude. Random dude. Got him. Let's see what happens. It's like I was telling you. This fucking guy. <laughs> Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. So doable? It sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. I uh I did try to play the first level of Doom Eternal on this thing. Uh on Nightmare, and I got about half the way through the level, so. Do I celebrate Easter? I mean, You're on my I celebrate Easter to the extent that I celebrate any American holiday. You know, it's just, it's like, yay, it's nice. Uh, spent some time with family yesterday, did some cooking. Um, I'm looking yeah, for just stuff. had some nice food. Jackie Wells. That's how I celebrate it, I guess. There we go. Did you know Gavin Drea, voice of Male V, is Irish? I did not know that. like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Oh, Mr. Chris Kringle. Thank you very much for the five gift subs. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. My mistake. I hadn't planned on stopping. A failed coupling forced my hand. Yeah. Always some failure high mistakes. Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. Hold on a second. You're not making sound, are you? Okay. Served in spec ops during the last war. My, my webcam wasn't Super muted and I was worried that the mic was active for Ring a second. Bells? No one gives a fuck, old man. Don't like to get along, do ya? I swear to God, this character is straight up patterned after Brian Dennehy from that First Blood. Like local sheriff with a chip on his shoulder because he's a war vet. You know? Fuck this chud? Yeah. If you have a problem, I'm willing to hear it. Let me tell you what my problem is. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking strain. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. You Possible to run him over? No. You just sit here and get shit talked to. Curious if there's still auteurs in video games like the Yoko Taro or Hideo Kojima's of the world. I mean, well, you listed two <laughs> that are that are actively working. Um, the thing is, it, hey, I'm talking to you. That that concept itself kind of pushes back on something that game devs have trying been trying to undo, which is the tendency to uh, put an entire production on one person's uh, back in terms of their like accomplishments. So, yes, there are, but I think. Uh, 
Like anything that comes out of Double Fine is pretty out there most of the time. Suddenly all shot. You could put that on Tim Schafer, but you know it's multiple different teams and mul multiple different creators that get in there. It's just the uh, the intersection of somebody having enough pull to actually get a budget for a weird idea. There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Hey, what's up, Cucumber? I hope you'll be on your way before long. Welcome and hello. Look, I heard this I'm place is famous for its hospitality. And I think my leg's broken. Glad to see it wasn't so you just better rumors. go on without me. You are damn Get yourself right. out of here while you still can. When people oh yeah, long, dude who invented Sturdy Valley. Uh, Toby Fox. For sure. They're popping so out all the time. And comms tower on my way in. What does Kojima's role as director mean? That can mean a lot of things in game development. Someone. I mean, what it does mean a lot of different things. Kojima tried to say what his roles were on uh, no Death Stranding. Then everyone said that he was pretentious for even listing it. So. it. You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? Uh, all right, so I don't have W. Nothing. Which, Nothing at all. Which yeah. means I gotta... Best that way. Uh, I gotta rebind that. I wonder if I can... Hold on a second. I wonder if... So I can steer with the stick now, which is really nice. Um, that's going to be really helpful. But I guess that means I have to put gas and brake on the mouse, which kind of makes sense. I just hope it'll let me bind... I don't think there's ever a time where you have to, to drive and shoot. Like, you're always in the passenger when you're... Uh, when you're accelerating, or when you're when you're shooting out of a window, so I think it'll let me bind it to both. Let's find out. That should be fine. Let's just apply. It's probably fine. Oh, and then I'll need handbrake. What would handbrake be? Oh no, wait. Space is fine. We're gonna we're gonna say space is fine. Binding fail. All right. No problem. All right. Oh, 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 okay. All right, all right. See, but you can see, like, the, the steering prompts flickering back and forth because I'm doing stick inputs and then, uh, and then mouse input. The only solution is two cyber claws. You can get them, you can get them left and right handed. So, yes, you could have one for each hand, which, uh, is, is a little mind-blowing and a little scary. Uh, I don't remember switch camera Q. That would be this. This is great though because like, well, it's it's not great yet. I'll still have to figure it out, but oops. Oh, that's interesting. If I'm moving the mouse, the camera doesn't auto center. That's okay. Manual camera control. Uh, but one of the things that was always really difficult was switching between like WASD and a controller to drive. No, I don't have to. It's fantastic. At what sub count do we get a Dark Souls playthrough with two cyber claws? Oh jeez. I mean, I honestly, I think, like, Dark Souls wouldn't be that bad. Something like Doom Eternal would be way worse. Because two Cyber Claws would take away mouse aim, and there's still tons of buttons you have to hit. So I can jump. I can still jump. Oh. Like, moving with the stick and, and aiming, like, moving in one direction and turning in the other while, like, jumping and shit is something I'm going to have to get used to. I'll play Dagon Run by switching between keyboard and controller. What do you use keyboard for? Oh, I guess, yeah, all the conversation's probably easier with keyboard. I did that shit with Grand Theft Auto. Every, like, shooting mouse, keyboard, controller for everything else. I'm kind of hoping that uh, this... One of one thing in, in the back of my head, really, has been, like, your input method and how that can conveys to the camera movement of your stream. Because I, I have to imagine that, like controllers provide a more comfortable viewing perspective because the inputs are always like smoother whereas a mouse you can do this this stuff and that looks more you know pro gamer i guess but probably isn't as fun to watch it's a little more jerky it's not as cinematic i don't know i thought about that stuff oops Hello? Come in. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy. Digital Foundry I'll always do their PC voice. videos with controllers for that reason. Wish I could say the same. Yeah, when I was when I was doing like a uh, game capture for uh 
reviews and stuff, I would typically play with controller because it did... It did, uh, seem to play a lot better. I like this... I feel like the sensitivity and how the streamer plays has more of an effect. That's... that's definitely true, yeah. Why can't you? But yeah, Digital Foundry videos are great. I can't help you. I mean, Eurogamer in general... I never knew a great outlet. So cautious. Try loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Oh, Woda, thank you for the Wouldn't raid. Be a problem if you're still a backer. Strelik, thanks Should've for the sub. Stuck with them. Joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. You've seen this opening before. Technically, yes. I played it in a preview. I need your help. But I haven't played it myself in the game release. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. Thank you, Clutch Crew. Client's name? I, uh... Jackie Wells. I need to get some action so I can start putting this controller through its paces. I actually left a message. Uh, is there somewhere you can send messages to you that are all boohoo? Your content has helped me so much emotional there. stuff. And maybe if I don't want them to Thanks, be read bro. in public. I owe you one. Uh, sure. You can DM me don't on Twitch or Twitter. And don't call you can again. send me an email. Uh, Ringer, how long do you think it'll be before they fix the bulk of the issues? Oh, that's right. Down is a different direction. Um, I mean, that's such a, a complicated question. Um, because there were like 500 fixes in the last patch. Does that, do you consider that to be the bulk? I don't know. And, there are people that, no matter how much they fix, will still insist that the game is broken and terrible. So, uh, are you, like, are you asking when they actually fix the game or when people when people agree that it's fixed because that probably will never happen people have too much fun shitting on this game so they're not going to give that up for no reason when people think they have like a target that they can freely bully they go in they go in like it's going out of style man it's like they just crossed the desert and all they wanted was somebody that they could be mean to and now they think they've got it I have a friend that said the size of 1.2 patch notes show how unfinished the game was. People bitch as much as they want to. Yeah, that's that's been the other thing is people... There's been a lot of, like, people reinforcing their belief from the evidence they see. So, like, you could easily... Like, if, if Bethesda tried, they could easily put out patch notes for Skyrim that are that long. They just don't. But somehow it's, like, it's proof that this game is more broken because they are trying to fix it. As opposed to other broken-ass games where people just don't don't offer refunds or don't even try to patch it after the fact. So, whatever, man. Whatever. Oop. That's gonna get a little... Yeah, or Anthem. Yep. So, they're in there. They're doing the work. It's just, like, it's evidence that people will take whatever they can to reinforce the thing that they want versus the thing that is. Ostensibly, the size of the patch should be a dedication or, um, a visible dedication that they are going to continue fixing and improving and adding things to the game. It should be that, but no. Instead, it's like, no, see? This is... It's broken. Alright. Nobody ever played GTA 5 at launch. Nobody ever played Skyrim at launch. Got it. Got it. Now you... With the new sen uh, steering sensitivity? I don't know. It was never that bad for me in the first place. Also, I'm on an entirely new controller, so... Uh, I... Comparisons are gonna be rough. It is running a lot better. Um, like, I haven't... Granted, I'm on an overpowered PC. I feel like I have to... I have to disclose that every time. But, um... Oh, this one's 20. For this piece of shit? I guess is this Jackie's old car? Uh, but... I'm playing on a pretty high-powered PC, but... It's smooth as shit. Right now. Buttery-ass frame rate. Actually, let me... Let me... Let me crack open these options here. Oops. <laughs> let me actually click on the right thing. And, uh... Oh, that reminds me. Here, let me... Let's see. I want... What's something I go to all the time? Like, the, the journal menu, I definitely go to a lot. 
So what if I just made it that? So I can just whack, just whack it. Maybe I should just do main menu. Like theoretically I can have, wait, why are there two main menus? Hmm. Actually map's pretty important. I go to map a lot there. But uh, let's see, journal can be this guy. Inventory is pretty important. So let's see here. I whack this guy, boom. And I can't, I think I just crouched. Oh, wait. I think I'm, I'm hitting crouch because I'm, I'm whacking the button. So. Oh, you can't. You can't hit the button to go back out? That's kind of lame. Maybe escape should be something. Maybe I can. I guess escape could be one of the. Oh, I could bind all of this shit, though. Hold on. A Ooh, baby. Hold on a second. That's good stuff. All right. Um. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. All right, 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 all right. Settings. Uh, maybe I should click this to make it. A, can you? You can't rebind escape. So hold on. I'm planning on installing any non-horny mods. Yeah, yeah, probably eventually. Oops. Let's let's go ahead and make that escape. Accept. Okay. So now if I. If I click this guy, that gets me out of menus. I would click the stick, but that's actually like, it's pretty firm. Kind of hard to get in there. Um, all right, so or maybe this should be escape. Wait, why is it acting like escape already? Huh? Yeah? Oh, because it's the main menu button. Oh, that's great. It's like. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so I guess... Wait, I don't know how I did that. I don't know what just happened. Uh... Let's see here. Let's see here. Inventory? Let's do this. Wait, P? What the fuck? Why is that P? Huh? Why are you registering as P? That's an up. That's up. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's not worry about that. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to cancel out of that. Yeah, I mean, that worked. Huh. Oh, man, this is... It's working. It's going to work. All right, all right. Inventory... I don't understand how that is also backing things out. Might be on the game side? Yeah, maybe. That's not supposed to be tab. Hmm. Maybe the hat switch is just different in this game. That's weird. Alright. Let's... Uh, as long as I can get to the map. Map is important. Map. It's P. Boop. Cool. And then I can cancel out this way. Very cool. Oh man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hacking like crazy. Yeah, all these buttons are different now. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Hmm. Hmm. Cause it's supposed to be the arrows. Yeah. What? Huh. Why not check on Notepad? I mean, yeah, that'll work. Ah! God, desk is so goddamn crowded. I can't move my mouse without knocking shit off. I hate this tiny desk. I actually, I mean, odds are, no matter what, um, no matter what desk I use, I just would fill it up. Yeah, why is it like, why are you doing this now? That's, yeah, it has rebound things. That's really weird. But when I do that, it like, it's registering them properly. Down. Oop. But it's still... That's strange. Oh, because it's on profile three for some reason. When the fuck did that happen? Sometimes that shit happens. Oh, okay. There we go. I must have clicked on it. What I've noticed is, like, 
when I'll hit buttons, since it's just keyboard buttons, it'll activate other things. Um, when I'm like not paying attention. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it was on a different profile. Ha ha ha. Ha. Well, shit. On that other profile, what was, what was, what was the paddle bound to? Was it escape? It is escape. All right, that's a good idea. Let's do that again. Because I was trying to think, like, the escape paddle, I have to take my thumb off the stick for it. So it has to be something I hit when I'm never moving, which is escape. That's perfect. Okay. Which means I don't need this to be escape anymore. That was bound to T, I believe. So let's do that again. All right. Okay. Now the binding can continue in earnest. Inventory. Map. Journal. Crafting, main menu, there, oh, that's T, that's fine. Okay, I think I've got it. I think that's got it all. I think I've got it all. I've got it all. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And then I, can I, can I save? That was save, I think. Miss the sounds of cyberpunk? It's a really good sounding game. Switch profile button. So there is a switch profile button down here. There's a little LED to tell you what, what profile you're on. There are two onboard profiles and there's a little hat switch. So then you're in profile two, profile one. It's not a hat switch, sorry. It's just a little clicker, clicker switch. So yeah, you can switch between profiles on the device. Uh, and yeah, I'm still in the process of figuring out exactly how that works and what that means. Why do I have to return to the car? <laughs> I guess I didn't drive forward enough. Hey, Demi. What's up? I goes the Hardcore Gaming. Just wondering how's the new patch, if you notice anything. Finished later in the game before the patch, so I haven't played it. Um, I mean, it, it's it's really smooth. Um, but it wasn't that choppy before, but still even... Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. Little yeah. micro chops yeah. are mostly gone. Me. Okay, alright. trying to get used to all the interaction buttons. It seems to be... I'm actually, like, it's making a little more sense than I thought it would. I believe I am. Are you... Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Is this game fixed? Yep. Or just all fixed. Matters, you know? Every last part of it. You're a man Thank you for principle? Asking. You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. Yeah. Cargo. <laughs> What's inside? Uh, have you said what kind of playthrough? Yeah. Sleep better. Uh, you know. Melee. No idea myself. Like That's dodging, jumping, flipping. To smuggle. Um, partial stealth, but pretty much just running in and good. cutting up everybody. Oh, some gonk lost the crate. And then, uh, found it, passed it on. story wise, just kind of like full on you know, burn the shit down, Johnny Silverhand, no one look pretentious, don't give a fuck about anybody kind of approach. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. Oh, well. That's funny, I just started a run two nights ago with a male nomad that's the same playstyle. Like, it kind of makes sense, right? Also, I don't know, I just feel that energy more from V's line delivery. Come. I got held up, and you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. Oh, there's a cyberware that allows you to strafe midair? That sounds perfect. Like, that's kind of ghost, ghost Runner, right? Does that mouse hurt your hand? Um, I mean, it's, it's supposed to do the opposite. It's supposed to be more ergonomic than a keyboard. Keyboards are weird. They, uh... They're meant to type with two hands. They're not really meant for gaming. 
So to use the Waz cluster to like go around like it's at an angle and your hand, your left hand naturally comes at it like this. So then you end up doing this, which has never hurt my hand before. And that's not why I'm using this, this controller, but um, theoretically it's supposed to be uh, even more ergonomic. So the, oh shoot, the irony is that uh, driving in first person is actually going to be quite a bit easier since it forces the camera to stay locked in a forward direction. Whereas, uh, let's see here. If I do this, since I'm on a mouse, I have to keep, like, readjusting. I guess I could put accelerate and brake. You have the manifest from the transfer. Right, that's, yeah, of course I that's handbrake. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds. He, he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend. We're both professionals, ain't we? But you can also lost, drive in full cinematic mo mode, which is pretty great. Like hey, GTA cinematic uh, cam. Sure, you moved contraband before. Why? Are you nervous? Oh man, this is gonna be a very cinematic playthrough. Well, uh, maybe a little. Oh! Woo! <laughs> ah! Ooh! <laughs> My boys are fine. Shit, this is really hard. Hold on. I like those there's those two security guards standing there. Let me let me get this all wedged in here. <laughs> How much is that claw? Uh it was so it's uh you have to order it custom. Uh I think it was around it ended up being around 300 US with like shipping and you also have to pay for it in Euro and stuff, so. Is it possible to get murdered already? What are you stepping on? I mean, it's got to be, right? These guys are... I guess maybe I can, can test out the, the AI. Water crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. All right, hold we'll on. Scan us and check our papers. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. I'll do the talking. I think they made, made it so you can't, you can't reach these guys. I'll do the talking. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't move. I'm pretty sure this other truck won't move either. Yeah, all of these NPCs are like behind him and unmovable barriers. And I don't think you can draw a gun yet. <laughs> you can just piss them off. That's it. That's pretty smart. Get out of my way. Yeah, I can't I can't hit him. It's got cool cyber eyes though. Keeps levitating for some reason. Oh, oh. What's he got in there? What is that? Like little EpiPens? Maybe like adrenaline or something? It's hypo stims? Easy now, or you will be neutralized. Whatever. You can't do shit, I got man. Every right to end your sad, pathetic life. Understand? Yeah, when well, you Easy can't. Easy now. You've been or programmed you will not to be aggro. Neutralized. <laughs> Mags, you think? They look I've like... got every right to end your sad, pathetic life. Understand? Yeah, I guess they might be. Oh, he's nervous. Look at that leg going. Easy now, or <laughs> you will be neutralized. All right, all right. Oh, Jackie's so upset. Poor guy. I've got every right to end your sad, pathetic life. Understand? Oh, that's right. I forgot to... That's why I was diving into the menus originally. Make sure these graphics are hyper-maxed out. Ultra... Oh. I mean, screen space. Who needs that? We have array tracing. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna click this over to quality. That's how spicy I'm feeling right now. I don't think I really messed with any of this stuff. Okay. Alright, fine. <laughs> Certainly a little crispier. That's right, hyper max settings. The biggest max. Fellas.
How do you like the claw so far? I mean, I've been I've been using it for a, like less than an hour. Whoa, I found the horn. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll know. I like it so far, though. Right. You have to calm down. Right. Right. Hand me the manifest. Don't need to see it. Grab these. I'm excited about Don't really really it. I am excited about combining an analog it's stick with a mouse. Way. Perfect. Um What's that mean? I just Lost have to train my hands to be a little less is flagged as to be lost. I, I need more precision than Wazd you would give me to not Don't smash a bunch button. of extra buttons. You're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. King Mongoose, hey, thank you for the sub. Oh, madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If you want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. That is a cool looking chip. Very aesthetic. Right. You Nervous forgot. Jackie is a mood. Yeah. A chat actually pointed it out that in a lot of the meetings you have with fixers, Jackie is just crazy nervous. Like his legs bouncing a lot and he talks really fast and says too much. It's like it's a surprising amount of nuance. Hands on your head! Hit the ground, flat on your gut! Only saying this once! What I do? Leave him alone! Ooh. On the ground! That's not Proceed to customs without undue delay. Cyberpunk is mean. What happens if you just leave? The border and we will open fire. I guess they just shoot at you. Okay. That makes sense. I'm curious, like, because they have to put the borders on. Like, they have to put the, the they have to put the boundaries on pretty hard at the beginning of the game. Do that. But yeah, you try to make a break for it into into Night City. SoCal will put you down. If you're armed, oh yeah, weapon here. that's right. The uh, the new the NUSA, the new United States of America. And there's Night City. How's Whoop. it going? I didn't I didn't know about the Pacific Confederation. Is, they have yet to be annexed by the new United States, I guess. Now please report to room number two. It's important, important that you're good. Feeling tired, bored, powerless. Room two. Should ever consider moving back to Texas? Please. Probably not. Um, Stephanie lived there for a while and wasn't a big fan. The thing. <laughs> Why is there blood in the chair already? Um, the things that I liked about Texas, I have largely found in California. So there's not a whole lot there for me anymore, I don't think. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It what things did you like about it? Not be. Um, I liked part having spaces to park. Mm. I liked being able to buy a house. Um, what are you transporting? I liked cheap alcohol. It's all in there. I liked bigger apartments with air conditioning. Um, I liked sunsets. Everything. I liked weather. There's one additional enclosure to the. But manifest. yeah, most of those things don't. Big tax breaks in Texas. A lot of influencers living there now. Yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah, Texas does not have state income tax, which means, you know, streamers, they have one less bite taken out of their revenue, which, you know, if you have a family or something like that, it makes sense. You know, you want to keep that money. But uh, I don't know. I prefer, I prefer California. There, there are hidden costs is the thing that I like. I've lived in both places, so I've, I've run my finances in both states. Everyone, like, everyone sees this, like, check you have to cut to the state of California, and they, they hate it, which makes sense, you know, you know, it hurts. But, uh, there are other costs to living in Texas. Um, yeah, Sanpaku, that's interesting. No income tax with high property and sales taxes. Yes. So, if you buy a house, you're still going to pay taxes, 
probably more than you might in Cali. Well, I take that back because your, your land evaluation in Cali is probably going to be pretty raunchy depending on where you buy. But also, um, I have the, I have the windows open right now. You know, you could, pro it's, it's March, it's April. So you could probably do this in Texas, but in California, 11 months out of the year, I can just open the windows and feel great. Uh, I don't have to run an air conditioner 24 hours a day, which means I don't have a $250 electric bill every month. So there are costs that, like on the surface, living in California or living in SoCal seems expensive because the sticker shock is, is there. But it, it like, it when I, when I first moved out to California, I was getting paid shit from Machinima, just garbage. But I still found a way to make it work. Um, there are ways to save money. You know, I started taking the bus instead of driving because getting across LA, it's about the same time in a bus. So do you rent or own in Cali? I rent. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure about buying in the LA area, especially right now. The housing market is wacky. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which? No but clan? like, I can also get weed delivered to my door. You know, you can't do that in Texas. And some things, <laughs> something like some things about living in a very progressive state are very nice, and that's one of them. So whatever, man. <laughs> Look, let's None. Just make this no quick, clan. Okay? I drive for myself. I'm not bold. I think it makes That's sense wise. for certain people if you know, you know if they're I'm starting a family, like you want a you giant house oh, for so not much money. Not to be on that you want stability. Me. Makes sense. Feelings mutual. But not really for oh. my for my livelihood right now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. If you own a Cal, you get the opportunity that a tech business wants to buy up your property. Or someone else rich, or your area gets developed by a tech company. Don't yeah. To take your personal items. No matter where you live, uh, it's it's a hundred percent probable that your your re your real estate will skyrocket because a stadium is moving next door, or SpaceX decides to open a thing next door, or your neighborhood gets gentrified. Yeah, I mean, I I live in South Bay area, which is a pretty like sleepy older part of L.A. Um, you know, Howard Hughes had his shit in uh in this area it's a lot of aviation stuff and you know before spacex dropped in here wasn't much going on and then and then la decided to put the coliseum kind of close too so that's kind of flooding some things into this into this space in this area la metro stations are starting to spring up which kind of brings a lot of a lot of stuff along with them too so yeah the uh, la metro area certainly has a its own texture when it comes to investing in real estate but uh Gosh, no, I would, I would have to be like, I would have to change the way I work. I think I would have to like lean really hard into the influencer thing, like try to build a following, do all these, like get representation, get tens of thousands of dollars in sponsorship deals and stuff like that. I could, I could, I could try that, but I don't want to, you know, uh, whatever. I'm pretty happy with, with the way things are right now. Uh, in terms of my livelihood and stuff, I'm pretty convinced that at a certain point, and 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 research bears this out, at a certain point, money beyond having certain needs filled doesn't really make you happier; it just makes your life more complicated. Science has proven more money, more problems. So, all right, I gotta use restroom. I gotta use restroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> right. Reposition hand and claw. Wait, never fade away. Oh, the S cracks, right. Wait, featuring Carrie Eurodyne. Did like is that an is that an ad that should play at the end of the game? How'd you wind up here? In this Oh no, I I guess the yeah, no, the, the cover they do has Carrie in it. And he got confused about that. That's right. Never mind. That is that's that's lore acceptable, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. That's why he wanted to shoot them? Yeah, and blow them up. That's right. God, Carrie is such an idiot. What happened in there? Muffin. I'll tell you oh, what's up, Pop Tart? Hello. Get out of here. Yeah, okay. Didn't a white guy just win the belt in the New Japan Wrestling League? Yeah? You gotta tell me what happened back there. Diversity is real. <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling. Representation achieved. Oh. 
I feel like there are way more drones than there were before. Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. But yes, happy Easter, everyone. I'm sorry, I didn't our way. did not wish everyone well. Does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. All right, time to pop out the window. Squeeze off some razor precise mouse aimed shots. This music is so good, though. Oh, oh, Pop Tart, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, that was really fun. And gosh, what a what an experience that that free fire shoot to show up and like be a host instead of have to set up everything. Oh, that was so nice. I just got to show up and say what they wanted me to say. All I had to do was say the words. They even complimented me? Gosh. Can you imagine? Without prompting, one of the guys on set came up and was like, Hey, I just wanted to say you're like, you're doing a great job. You're bringing a lot of great energy. We really appreciate it. And I was like... What is this feeling? Link to the Free Fire thing? Shit, I really should set up a, uh, like a... I should set up a command for that, huh? Oh, thank you very much, Pop-Tart. Thank you, King Mongoose. Oh, candles, hey. Starting to feel really down out of nowhere this afternoon. Just hanging in here, digging your vibes. Fix somebody mood drastically. Thank you for being you. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, I, I feel like I can't take credit for that. It's just... Well, you know what? I have repeatedly realized uh, discrediting what's easy. That's no way to live. Something can be natural and still valuable, so... I'm very glad to hear that. I spend most of my life terrified that I'm going to do something that, like, upsets somebody else or causes hurt or pain or distress to somebody else. It's weird to think about me in my natural state doing the opposite. You can't stop here. I almost feel like want to, like, doing something good should require effort, right? It should be hard. It should it should be toil. But that's that's dumb. Uh, J-Dub, thank you for the sub. You cult cultivate an audience of kind people. Don't sell yourself short. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, I shouldn't. You're right. I shouldn't sell myself short. No, nor should anyone in chat. All right. That what you call smuggling? There's a million things you do every day that somebody else appreciates, even if they don't say it. No problem. And you know what? You should appreciate it yourself too. Calm down. Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the uh, Fucking please. With no. That. This is another thing that I've been thinking a lot about lately. Uh, I'm a bandit. Thank you much for the, very much for the resub. But uh, all my streamers that I bankroll appreciate my credit balance. I do appreciate monetary support. Yes, that is something I'm very thankful for. But uh, one thing I've been thinking a lot about is that the I for a long time I kind of thought that the only things that really mattered were the things that were external to me. Um, that like I can have my own tempest and stuff inside of myself. But what really matters is what's expressed into the world. That's that's what's actionable. That's what's real. Um, so I, I think I focused for a long time on like trying to, or I think I focused for a long time based like uh, basically on my output and not necessarily on what led to that output. So I didn't really think about anything inside myself as being valuable. It was just whatever maelstrom of thoughts and emotions I had, and then my actions were what actually mattered. But what I'm starting to realize is, no, what's, in, what's internal matters a lot, too. Even if nobody else knows it, it, it can still be you. It's a gift you give yourself because you're worthy of giving a gift to yourself. And part of that is, you know, cultivating your, your inner garden. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about that, about how even if nobody sees something and nobody knows it, that it still has value and meaning and purpose and it's real to you. Um, so, oh, I can, I can do this in the menu, too consequences he took a risk he assumed we didn't have a clan backing us and he was right so i've been trying to be nicer to myself in a ton of ways 
both in active ways of here's a nice thing I'm doing for myself, and then just in my, you know, in my mental and emotional states, being kinder to myself, giving myself internal compliments. You can treat yourself like you treat somebody else. Be long. And if you're going to be nice to everyone else, why wouldn't you be nice to yourself? Why wouldn't you be nicest to yourself? If you're your best friend, wouldn't you support yourself and tell yourself nice things and get your get your back all the time? It's so dumb because, like, it's so obvious, right? But it's just not the way that I ever thought. Um, being your best Hello. friend means a lot. Yeah, we're taking care of ourselves this year. Damn right. What else? Like, it's quarantine <laughs> for now. But what a perfect time to, to really be kind to yourself, to learn how to be kind to yourself and love yourself as as you probably put it like you probably put that effort out for tons of other people. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think I grew up in a culture that kind of I, I say like a family culture that was definitely very like martyrdom based, very self-sacrificial. So uh, no one else is going to tell me I'm hot. I'm going to tell myself. Hell yeah. Look in that mirror and be like, I'm hot. Because, again, if you were your best friend. You would say that, and you would mean it. I could ask the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. Can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. Hey, what's up, old bones? Disappear as soon as we crossed over, but you're all right. Jackie was gonna ditch me. I appreciate the honesty. Real OG re hours, a real ogre hours. Oh my gosh! Thank you for the sub. Thank so, you for the five subs. What's next? I appreciate the gifts. Now we take a peek inside. Anyone ever tell you look like John Travolta in hairspray? <laughs> I mean it in the best way. Well, no one specifically called out his role in hairspray, but uh, I'll take it. I'll accept it. Ah oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. I've gotten Travolta a few times though. Money. Which is fine. Oh my miss. A real iguana. I'm finally on a really good diet stretch, so six months from now I'm gonna look like a goddamn killer. Lesser until what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about him. Went extinct like thirty years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Poke, poke. Think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gunk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Uh, what are your thoughts on a game like COD about. taking up essentially 400 to 600 gigabytes? Hey, by the way. I mean, it's. You, uh, got any plan? It's three games. Three of them combined. I think it would be nice if they were separate installs. I don't. I'm not quite sure why uh, they haven't blocked it out like that. I think it's if I actually. I think I understand. Or I have a couple theories. Um, it's. I guarantee you they've thought about it. Um, I think you have to pay platform holders based on the number of things you have listed, and you have to pay them the number of times you update. It's not free. Uh, listing a game on. Steam. It's not free listing a game on PlayStation Network. That shit costs money. And pushing out updates also costs money. Uh, so I think if they were to have like individual updated download chunks for each mode, that would probably cost them way more money. That's that's my guess. Um, and there's probably a, a t other technical reasons behind why the patches are so big. The install size is so big because it's multiple video games. Um, this is like... This is the consequence of a lot of things people wanted, which is huge games with crazy online connectivity, tons of content, uh, content patches that hit every month or so. There's, you know, you don't get all those things for free. Uh, oh, they're not additive patches, at least not entirely. So, yeah, I think the other problem is that a lot of game assets are kind of encrypted into a single file. So if you change a couple of things, you have to replace one giant file. Uh, 40 to 70 percent of each patch is replacing existing files. Yeah. Um, there's probably a reason for that too. Um, I've never worked in content distribution like that, so I don't know the actual technicals of why. Um, I would, I would warrant it's a money thing or, uh, to make it easier on players would, would like it either hits a technical problem that they have or I don't know, who knows, but 
there's a lot of game assets there and like warzone and a full campaign with like voice capture for everyone and assets for all that stuff multiplayer with yeah all the skins and gun models and sound effects and stuff like that so yeah this it's just a i i guess the presumption is is that we moved into the that when we moved into the future, all of these game headaches would go away. I don't think headaches are ever going to go away. They're just going to change shape. So, uh, yeah, hard drives still fill up. I guess you could, like, cloud gaming will probably be the end of that, but that has trade-offs too. So, there's, you know, there's always going to be a bottleneck somewhere, I guess is, is, is what I feel about it. And hitting a storage bottleneck. I mean, data download bottleneck fucking sucks. Storage bottleneck, little little annoying, but... It's gonna, there's gonna be an annoyance somewhere. I think, I think, it's never gonna be all 100% perfect. And even if it is, people will still find something to get annoyed about. So, you think an install for a game will reach into terabytes soon? Uh, yeah, maybe. I think we might be at this trade-off. We might have hit this like critical juncture where beyond this, like cloud-streamed assets will kind of take that. Like the data set for Microsoft Flight Simulator is what? It's in the petabytes. That's how big the game is. Or the assets are. You just don't have them all resident on your hard drive. So that'll probably be the case as we go into the future. That ridiculously huge games like that are ones that draw from big data. will stream to your stream to your machine. So yeah. I'm not a set about COD taking a large amount of space. I'm kind of on the same page as as far as what, what you said. Yeah, it, it would be nice to have an explanation, right? What's this mouse thing you're using called? Yeah, sorry. Uh, and Pop-Tart, you asked about this. This is called an Azeron. I should... Well, there's not really branding. Uh, let me add a... Let me add a command while I'm thinking about it. Because people are curious. Understandably curious. So. Okay, I am adding a. Here, let me. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. All right, if you use the command Cyberclaw or controller, it'll just pop up with a little link to the website. Using a mouse with it? Yes, why no two sticks? Because mouse is better. Mouse is better than a stick. But a stick is still better than WASD. So, now I have the best of really of all worlds. I, I don't think there's a single kind of, there's no motion control here, unless you consider the mouse a motion controller. Um, what you be doing in Night City? And no rumble, actually. Why do you ask? But I've got it all. I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it. What if you could play rhythm games with it? And then see. I don't see what. Oh, I don't see why not. DJ Max would be buddies. awesome. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. Is this claw permanent or just experimenting? Can turn to. It, I'm experimenting until it's permanent. Family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks. Much we'll see. Hey, come on. It's nothing. It got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it, partner. Hey, he looked at you. Cuddly little fucker. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. <laughs> you don't mean that, Mano. Aww. Uh -huh. This is so wholesome. We're gonna be buds for life, as long as this lizard's alive. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miku colored? Yeah. I mean, it, I, I got it in mint to match my desk, which means I need to change the, the chroma on my keyboard and my mouse. This is such a fucking flex, too. The intro is in-engine, clicking around through all these environments, like single-frame clicks. That's a pretty big, like, I don't know. Nobody, nobody really reads that this is a pretty big technical, like, this is them buffing out. This is them gassing themselves up a little bit. I mean, it's a really good sequence, but... 
shit like this would always be pre-rendered. Doom Eternal had a pretty pretty similar flex at the beginning. Centro was something else on console. I could see this not being good at all on console. Th this is showing off their te their like asset streaming, which is has you know was the problem on console. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't run this well for some of us. Just wait. Just wait. The game is only going to get better. Uh, you know, like newer consoles, the next gen patch isn't even out yet, so. Just wait. If you have a Series X or a PS5, or if you get one by this fall. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos the kidnapped. It's gonna be fun to just do full Eyes and ears open, all right? Full violence combat. Making a witch. Got you a little something. Military training shard. <laughs> do you know <laughs> anything about one. CDPR having uh, to sacrifice their initial the game vision in order to achieve console no, compatibility? Practice in VR? No, no, Jack. No not, time. Not that I can Maybe think of. Later. I haven't heard anything about sure. that. Sure. Sure. Manana. Hey, what's up, Makostich? Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? How far are you in this run of Cyberpunk? I mean, this is the this is the just do what I pay you. Scav hideout right at the beginning, like tutorial combo. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator, this way. Let's see, I remember how to sprint. Where's that hot dog? Or wait, is this the? This is the uh. The garage with the hot dog I took a photo with? I thought so, but... Oh, yeah, it's over here. What's your style going to be this playthrough? Yeah, there it is. Uh, just big murders, really. Um, katana, like, melee, dash, uh, dodge, flips, double jumps, air dash. Basically, you want to be Genji. But uh, that's, that's the gameplay style, and then kind of emotionally or spiritually, the story beats are going to be more like... Like, fuck the world, uh, kind of allying with, with Silverhand about a lot of things, I think. Alright, let me... Oh, you can't go from screen to screen, that's kind of a bummer. Hold on a second. That's map. Okay. I'm excited to, like, learn how to get through menus and shit, using all these weird shortcuts. Know what ending you'll go for? So I I want to do the, like, secret one, but I think I'm going to have to look up a guide. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to, like, try to try to gas up Jackie a little bit. Or, sorry, gas Targets up a... Sandra Dorset. Target Johnny. Ramon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. How do you like the game now that you played through it? I really like. I really like this game. Try to be nice. I think the writing is really good. Call a damn helpline. I think a lot of the side quests were extremely well written. Had great concepts. I don't know. I think there's there's a lot to like about this game, even if it's not you know an open world sim to the extent that they kind of they kind of implied it would be. Kind of straight up said it would be. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside. Oh, the Pan Am ending? I guess I am a nomad. Fingers crossed it's not too late. But it's pretty easy to get the Pan Am ending. Death shit. Hurry. Uh, the door. so, you on your own, what I'm hoping is that I, I drop a save at that, you know, whatever conversation with Johnny that, that opens up or, or kills the secret ending. And then I do secret and then I do Pan Am. I, I haven't done the Pan Am ending. I only, wait. What ending did I do? Oh, yeah, I did the, uh... Space heist ending, which is pretty cool. Oh boy, that was kind of neat. Have to hold up on my pinky and then hit right. Yeah, the Arasaka ending sucks. Yeah, no, I saw Stephanie got the Arasaka ending. I think it's a fine ending. Well, it's not really an ending, but none of the endings in Cyberpunk really are. Um, I'm gonna guess because you probably still play as V in the DLC. 
I'm gonna guess. You're movie. Maybe? But, uh, or the expansions, I should say. Yeah, let's drink some booze. Motherfucking booze time. Before I get in here and kill everybody. Uh, no spoils, but is there a Judy ending? There is an ending that involves Judy, yes. That's that's the one that I got. Basically, the ending is a, a combo of the ending you choose to pursue, and then you're like... This one's packing black market say to take repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Uh, Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. The, then your partner. What button puts the... Uh, I can't remember what button puts the gun away. I'm gonna have to, I think I might have to go more with toggles. Oops. Okay, so that's X. Could you please not enjoy? Or do you mean explain the Arasaka ending? No, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. I won't talk about it. I won't talk about any of the endings. It's pretty easy not to. There's, there's not a lot of reason to. And, and it, it, I'm not required to talk about them for any other reason. No. Oops. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I couldn't have done that better myself. Ugh. Oh, explain. Okay. It's like a boomer trying to figure out a modern controller a little bit. Hitting the wrong button a lot. Maybe steps me. On your toes. More bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Let's go! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay. Hurrah! Clean it up. Clean it out. Don't bring the target out under fire. And definitely don't want a slug in your back. No way. Not neither. I should have been a little more, a little more judicious. This guy not have any. Oh, I threw his body away. All right, well, time to go bash him in the face till he's dead. There we go. I think that's the only time ever playing Cyberpunk that I've run out of. Yay! That I've run out of ammo. Wow. Fuck, you got eyes on this shithole? Anything! Oh, look out on the balcony. Got a window on the left. Give me two seconds to crease the lock. You're between the eyes, B! You got this! Pack on the doors just clear. Watch yourselves. Chintada madre! Still ammo. Oh yeah, I can't even see my ammo count yet. I don't have cyber eyes. Is that all you got? Hey, Gaff. Gaff Garion, hello. Whoa! New controller feels good. It feels weird. It might take me a minute to, uh... Shit, where the hell's our target? Rem like, remember where all the buttons are. But it's working out pretty well so far. Like, I just have to... I was kind of jittery, you know, kind of nervous using it. So I was hitting a lot of paddles just by jerking my hands around, but I'm... I'm settling into it. I'm settling into it. It's feeling a little more comfortable. 20 eddies for a soda. Who can afford that? I don't understand how people get overhyped or allow a game to be oversold to them. I knew the game would be taxing for most hardware uh, for a long time before release. CDPR should not have done last gen. Uh, yeah, I agree. That was, that was it. That was too ambitious. Um, but that's a call they had to make like three years ago, you know? Very easy to be like, well, it was too much now, but you don't know that when you're, when you're making that decision and you want to be on as many platforms Jesus as possible. Fucking Christ. I swap ambitious with greedy. All right. Whatever. Whatever, man. Companies make products to earn money. We make it? Greedy. About to find out. Making like two whole other products is not greedy. That's extra work. I mean, I guess. Look good. But like that, 
I don't know. What I don't want it to get in is to this, like, fantasy. Like, they should have canceled last gen? Maybe. Or delayed it? Sandra Dorset, NC5 I, uh, I think. Platinum. Platinum. I honestly believe it's truly not that bad. I've seen I've seen feet. gameplay on base PS4, and yeah, it's not great, but no no game in the last year of a console gen is great. It, they all run like shit. It's always been that way. Yeah. By the math, it's really not substantially worse than a bunch of like late 360, late PS3 games. That'll be what's muting the biomob. Whatever. Found the shard. We're moving now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is... Ghost of Tsushima? The game that runs at 30 FPS? Biomon claims Troma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue... And is on one platform? <laughs> People make the most, the weirdest, like, weirdest comparisons. Uh, people mad about Cyberpunk? No. No, not really anymore, no. There's there's people who go out of their way to, like, be mad about stuff. But, nah, most things are, uh... He's flatlining! V, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo! Most things Fuck are fine. Hey, catch, vato! <sighs> I think... Holy shit, it worked. It should have canceled previous gen consoles, but the board likes money. I mean, I guess? I really I really don't think that's the motivation. I don't think City Project's hurting for money. I don't think they have been for a while. I mean, that's like calling Sony greedy, you know? Which, I guess they can be, but they don't need money right now. They're, they're cash flush. I think even based on pre-order numbers for Cyberpunk, they weren't worried about it. I would guess. Uh, it might have been better to not release on console, but they were developing the game over the course of then current generation. Of course, they would try to develop. Yeah, right? You're just going to not develop on current hardware? That's a, that's a tough window to release in. And it's, it's so easy to say what should have happened after the fact. Um... I also, I also still really Five steps back. think that a lot of the situation has been blown out of proportion, but people, people love something they can go in on. YouTubers and media and bloggers love something that they, like, it's just, everyone in general just loves a good feeding frenzy. When, like, everyone can give themselves the go-ahead to just really shit on something. It's, uh, you know, mob mentality. It directs its beam in various ways. I don't know, I just got done watching a, a documentary about Britney Spears and like, people went in on her with with no compunction, no, no like, no nothing. It's just like, we all get to do it. We've all decided that we get to be horrible to this one person and just like make jokes at her expense. And you know, that's that's one person versus a video game from a corporation. So it's not like the, the humanity is necessarily one to one there, but I think it's honestly the same kind of concept as people just decide that People communally give each other permission to just be really shitty to somebody or something. And, uh, it was Cyberpunk's turn. The The narrative was too clean to turn away from. To be able to be like, everyone's looking forward to this thing. Oh, it's total shit! Yeah, it just makes sense, right? So sometimes, you know, people won't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Cutting my wires now. Oh yeah, Monica Lewinsky? Yeah, for sure. Listen, man, I mean, women in general become the, the public punching bag. Hmm. Let me pick up this cash. Only if you hang it, Jack. But don't get used to it. Let me pick it up. Why can't I pick it up? That's weird. Phantom money. Have you noticed new advertisements? Uh, not yet, but I haven't really been looking. I only, I've only been in Night City for a little bit. You're saving my ass, V. Just Thank shotgunned you. a package of ketchup? How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oop. 
Still haven't fixed that one. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Okay, T is... T. Are you T? T. Are you T? You're T. Okay. Oop. Oh, oh. F. F is this. Okay. Yes. Didn't you already ask me that? V. Sonic Hedgehog. Thank you for the cheer. How do you feel about Keanu voicing Johnny? I think he did an amazing job. Of course she's alive and well. I think Keanu's performance in this game is a, is a reminder that like good performers are good performers. Um, it's not just vanity casting. Is the only place I think he brought a lot of nuance now. to particular line reads that are the NCPD has surrounded that really do work. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Never not loved CDPR, but my lens is always skewed to try and see things Where's from the game the programmer's NCPD's perspective. Well, I think I were on the dev team I'm going over all the grand ambitions we have for the game. I'd only want to release it on PC. It's future proof. It I'm driving. I can see that. I mean, I don't think your characterization is that far off because the PC version is clearly, it's the version of the game. Um, and and all of your other statements, I think, is correct. are correct. Excuse me. Um, this is a very forward-looking game, which also makes me think that everyone just jumped the gun so fast when it came to judging this game. Because, again, I think everybody was just really excited to have something they could dogpile. Um the game does straight up talk of overbearing management. No, they don't. You've never heard that because you've only you've probably only heard that through Jason Schreier. Um, so um, consider consider your sources. Um, that's another narrative people love to believe because it also gives you the right to be mad at a company. Like you want to imagine that there's some evil executives right, and they're like, <laughs> and they're like, we're going to release it on multiple platforms. Work harder. And then all the people in their cubicles are like, okay, Mr. CD Project, and they're typing and they're coding and they're going fast and their hands are bleeding and their wife and kids, husband and kids, they're at home crying alone. That makes it very easy to have a villain to be mad at, right? Now, okay, let's imagine for a second that the whole team gets together. And they say, we want to make this thing. And the management's like, okay, we'll figure out how to do it. And the whole time, everyone on the team is bought into it because they really want to make a great game. And they were okay putting in some extra time. At the end, one extra paid day a week, um, which is not American crunch, not even, not even by a long shot. But let's say they want to do all that. And then they make a game and they're really happy about it. And they're really excited about it. And that's another vision, right? And it just... Like, it went a little rough on console. So, who's to blame there? Is there a villain? Is there somebody to be mad at? I don't know. So, from your perspective, th I think, I mean, uh, CD Projekt to me is a, it's a coder's company. Um, it, it is that sort of, like, tech first, like, deep, like, the concepts of the games they work on and the extent to which they work on them, to me speak a lot towards that sort of old aspirational but often busted sensibility that was pc development you would have games on pc that were five to ten years ahead of anything that was on console both technically and design wise because you had more buttons you had more buttons in a higher res display so you could make stuff like uh like deus ex and game like console didn't get like that until like Bi bioshock was still kind of a prey is probably the only game so far on console that had the like environment some complexity of something like deus ex i think i think i might need to play deus ex again before i make that claim but still Hello. stuff like crisis yeah and to me cyberpunk is a game like that um it it's it, it's a game that's now for pc which means three years from now from other platforms and i don't expect anyone to get that and if you market a game on a console you ought to deliver an experience that's roughly equal to other games on that platform so i'm not saying that like nothing nothing wrong happened or that no one has a right to be angry just like man i do agree though that i do it does feel like a classic pc game in a million different ways which makes me really happy but i get why that doesn't necessarily apply to anyone else but i also don't see a lot of evidence that that's in jeopardy or that that philosophy is, is different in this 
That article also said a lot of stuff about their E3 demos being fake. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. Which is an industry thing, not a CDPR thing. Uh, a lot of media pushes stories about CDPR that are not exclusive to them. For example, a bunch of articles pointed at the drop-off in players after three months, which is not any worse than any other single-player game. Yeah, just just the title. The title gets clicks. You can you can tell by the way that websites write it. Actually, websites have been cramming Cyberpunk into their copy for no reason, just because it helps uh, Google rank up their their articles and stuff. Um. Yeah. Eh. So I apologize if you were, uh, they should have just delayed further. Maybe. Um, you covered articles written by Schreier over Red Dead 2 development. What makes you less inclined to believe his account on CDPR? Well, I don't believe his account of Red Dead 2 either. Um, and I, uh, whenever I would like reference it, I would never cite specific things. It, it bugs me the way he, um, sources or doesn't even source his sources. He doesn't even quote them anymore, which is a... It's a big problem. Um, he's he's run entire articles that are 100% paraphrased from, like, connected sources. Which can... Like, you have no idea how much of that is hard info and how much of it is him filling in the gaps. Um, so, bugs me. Uh, why are you sure that there's no bad actor? Schreier is far from the first or only person saying their sources report this. I don't think it's simple, but you're certain a lot about where I'm coming from. So, Throbbing Hot Pocket, that's fine. Please, sh please show me the articles that, you, that you're referencing. And bear in mind that I do live with somebody who works there. So when it comes to, like, their work culture, consider that. But if there's more than one person and more than one source claiming that, I would like to see that. Can we not talk about how lame or not lame the game is? I'm willing to move away from it for now. I'll move away from it. The one last thing I do want follow up on though is that. <laughs> so, but you're right. I I dwell on that subject way too much, especially when playing this game. I don't want people to like just assume I'm gonna be complaining about shit. Yeah, does this have to happen every time you play this? It's my fault. It's definitely my fault. Fucking try, Jackie. Come on, bitch. But yeah, the uh. I don't know, the E3 demo is, is nearly identical. <laughs> it's closer than a lot of other demos got. Yeah, Malcolm, it's different people every time, though. It would be a mistake to just say it's the same people. It's a natural thing to talk about, unfortunately. How much does feature creep play into the development of this game and what they wanted to release? We'll never know. What's controlling the camera? This? My right hand? My right hand's on a mouse. Not to dismiss all the hard work Steph undoubtedly puts in, but she doesn't work directly in game development, right? So Tomcat, um, that is that is a particular thing that is that people get upset about when you refer to people in marketing or communications as not being game developers. Uh, she does not create video game assets, but she is a game developer. Officer, ma'am, damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really. What's it that makes him so special? Uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried soon. Exalted Wukong, thank you very much for the sub. I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Giving me a chance. Waiting. Mm, that's a shame. I'm gonna let that one go. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer. Is she the one who talks to you? No, that's Regina. Yeah, Ryzen. Yeah, no, no game will sell without marketing. Very true. 
God. Right. I'm loyal. You stay with my affection. It's, um... It's, it's creepy sometimes, the degree to which... Gamers rely on marketing to fill in their knowledge of games and don't even know it. Like, the number of times I've told somebody about a game, they're like, I've never heard of that. And they say that, but what they mean is, I haven't heard of it, so it must not be that good. You know, it's like, definitely got that from a lot of people. It's like, how come I don't know about it? It's like, bro, because it's, they don't have a marketing campaign. You look like your average boys. Jeez. Ain't your average badges. That's max tech. Twitch viewers a lot, too, will be like, well, if I'm not aware of it, it must not be a big deal. Like, well, you're not, I mean, it's not a big deal because they haven't bought ads for it. There's no sponsored streamers, but. It's, um, I mean, games media is also marketing as much as they think they're not, but it is marketing budgets that drive all of that stuff, all of it. If I play a game and on day one, it's got 800 people that want to watch it, um, that's because marketing made them interested in it. I played a lot of games day one, and viewership pretty directly correlates to the amount of marketing poured into a game beforehand, which means my income is downstream from marketing spend. Almost at your place. A lot of people forget that. Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Was that the scene from the first 2077 teaser? It was close to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The original teaser showed Max Tack dealing with a, uh... A cyber psycho, and you actually uh, you can encounter those characters in the game, which is pretty cool. Carrion was like that little marketing, but a fantastic game. Yeah, what's what's banana? So yeah, like games like Among Us will just be there, and they they don't have a marketing budget because nobody nobody gave them one. And then three years later, it finally blows up, and that's when it gets a game award. So marketing even influences your ability to win awards. Think about that one. That's that's how many layers of BS this stuff can get buried under. Some of the streamers are the marketing. Yes, but rarely. Rarely. There's like three or four times total that game games have like sprung up from the grassroots to uh to become phenomenons because of of uh, influencers. But much more often, it's uh it's paid marketing. That's that's my observation. I don't. Uh oh. Bug. I don't think I don't like have data for that. Has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Did you get the secret Johnny ending the first playthrough? No, I want to do it the uh, second time. That's my goal this playthrough. Still looks really good. PUBG, Fall Guys, Phasmophobia, Among Us, at least four. So let's see. I I wouldn't count PUBG in that. I don't think PUBG was necessarily like PUBG wasn't just a nothing release that blew. Well, maybe, and maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll count PUBG. How's Phasmophobia doing? D has that like blown up in sales? Some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. No, that ain't it. Valheim? That's true. Well, do you think it's influencers driving Valheim? Maybe. Probably. It was an Apex? They announced it was a week before and then paid for big streamers to play it. I mean, a lot of that's been a lot of things lately. Um, Outriders. Has put a lot of money into that, and I can say that because I, I'm getting some of it. Uh, I'm doing a sponsored, but they wisely delayed it until the game, you know, can uh, can connect and run. I don't know. I wasn't having a bad time on PC, but I think things might have gotten a little chunkier. I'm just gonna equip all of this. I'm equipping it all. It wasn't that. I gotta remember what inventory is. Is it, is it this? It's this. Okay. Ugh! I look like such a tool now. God. Wearing these trash basketball shorts. <laughs> I look like a tourist. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take those, though. Zero out of ten, no wall titties. Wait, is that a is that a glitch somebody got? Somebody get wall tits? Man, I want some wall titties. 
Oh yeah, I think this this might be the biggest thing in the entire game. What am I looking at over here? Ballsy? Nice. I think they they changed this, which is actually a huge disappointment. Oh, no? Oh, praise God. Steph! Hello, Night City. Steph, here in last night Steph said that they fixed the way V sleeps, and I was like, that's bullshit. Good. Good. I'm glad it's not fixed. Why can't you starfish the bed? What, just like, hands and legs out to each corner? One of these is T. Shit! Fuck. I don't know which one's T. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's biomon. Don't know. Neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Hey V. I think Regina Jones. Think T is click stick. If you're for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? I'd you even know my name. I know where to gather my Oh, it's click this. You could even call me a collector. Okay. I gotta click it without moving it to answer the phone. And then I think it... Yeah, okay, that... Okay. Okay, I get it. I think I get it. Z! Ah, oh, shucks. Uh... Ooh! Ooh! I found it. Ooh, okay. Gosh. It makes me really nervous to, like, see a button. Like, I know where that is, but I don't know where that is. Open up! Oh, the first sleep is sideways Let's after go. it's fixed? Mm. You know you're in there. At least the first one is the right one. It's fine. How long did it take you to get used to the glove? I'm not. This is the first time I've like seriously tried to play with it, so I'm not used to it at all. Oops. Uh, uh oh. Oh, put that away. How are we putting this away? Okay, V. Uh, double tap Alt? Are you kidding me? I just, there's there's got to be another way, right? Right trigger is put it, put it away. Uh, oh, oh, I think I second. No. Mouse wheel. Yep. Yeah, there's. Mm. Shit, come on! I'm gonna have to find a different button for that. Oh, no, no, no. no Worst thing is about right foot place. switch, yeah. Double tap swap button. Uh, I don't know if I have swap button bound. I have like one and two bound. Oops! Double click mouse wheel, nice. That one worked. Fucking crazy! I fucking hate this thing! One of these will probably work. Nope. Uh, click this guy? No. Yeah, I think once my gun's out, I really don't have any button to put it away. Maybe I... Here, let me rebind something here. Is it really alt? Jeez. Let me... Cycle weapon? Is that the only button that puts away weapon? Alright, hold on. I'll, I'll find this, this asshole right here. Cycle weapon, okay. There. Wait, nope, cancel, cancel. Okay, tap tap. There we go, easy. E Z. This game playable on PS4. Uh, so I I read a Digital Foundry article that said PS4 Pro is basically basically all good. What do you say? Um. How you like my new punching bag? But base PS4 is a little rough. Next gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. Bind it to Alt F4. So how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. 
Keep that head moving. Oh. That's weird. I'm like locked on. I come from the streets. I come from the streets. Thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. What's up, Dadderall? How are you liking your Azeroth? I... You can go far. I like it, Especially I think. If you get I'm getting used to... These fights. My muscle memory is building. My muscle weak. feelings are building, and it's it's but feeling good. It's feeling good. Very loot. Uh, I want to ease my transition from controller to mouse and keyboard to Apex, and it's been fantastic. I get a small percentage of... Yeah, that makes sense to me. You know, as huh. your agent, you get the rest. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat. Is that also a mouse? Well, I have a mouse in my hey, other hand, so you gotta make a buck somehow, right? It's a stick and then a mouse. At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the. That controller is supposed to accomplish something. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be ergonomically swinging. simple, but also have a million buttons. You take home so. Manage to drop every last one of them. And it looks cool as hell. A chance to fight in the grand finale. Oh, thought it was a lefty. Crystal. Uh. You can you can get them oh, right-handed. Um, not yet. You can start in Kabuki. But yeah, I guess I it makes sense because it's on the right side of the screen. Time to show this city what you made of. I guess I could cover up that shit in the lower left. That's not super important, is it? Actually, it's, got for sale. I wonder if he has Only top a katana here. or something. El Elzira, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much for the for the kind message. My fellow audio and post engineers would love it. Mouses are so bad for your hands if you're mixing audio all day. Yeah, well, I mean, look into it then. The uh, the software is is real simple. You can just bind this all to keys, and it works. It works like that. Um, I never thought about it for editing, but that's not a bad call actually. You can just have all your keyboard commands like right there. Cyberpunk on Ouya. This the console that. It could be the one to save the Ouya, finally. 651. I have just enough to buy this garbage katana, and I'm gonna do it. There we go. Oh, that's... I'm gonna remember... Nope. I'm gonna remember inventory one of these days. There we go. There. That's all I need. Actually, I'm probably just in slot two. Here we go. Okay. Sick katana. The gun guy has a katana? That's fine. I just needed one to get going. Oh no! Why are you running? Why are you running? First after every shot now. Right track. Uh, what is. Do I have Z bound? I need to just leave this open. Okay, that is. Shh. That's nope. That's not journal. That's crafting. Journal. There we go. There. There. Yes. Okay. You liking the new V character? Or do you other like the previous one better? I mean, I haven't. Once I, I think once I do all foods, uh, I'll, I'll have a better idea of how this character actually plays. It'll be fun to go through a, like essentially a dungeon with a sword, trying to dodge cyber stuff. Oh yeah, free gun. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Thanks a lot. Okay. Yes. I I remembered. Why would I want that? Oh, there's a katana and V stash. I thought there was a katana somewhere. Because I remember having a katana at the beginning, but whatever. I don't have to buy all the cars in this save file, so who cares? Money's just for fun times. Definitely prefer the regular combat to hacking. That's what I'm excited about, is to actually hear the combat music more often. Uh, that's kind of the big thing I'm looking forward to. Uh, did you hear about spiffing Brit's YouTube exploit? No. 
What's that all about? Oh, wind, wind five five eight. Thank you for the thank you for the prime. And ouch, ouchbox. Thank you very much for the sub. Love the way you engage with your audience. Your style of convo is super interesting. Dude, sincerely happy you are doing well on this platform. Me too. Um, I wondered when I was getting on or when I was shifting more to Twitch or investing more time to Twitch. I was I was wondering how much I'd have to like compromise and change. Like, am I going to have to play certain games? Am I going to have to act in a certain way? Luckily, no. No. It's, it's, it's fucking phenomenal. I can just kind of chat with people and play whatever, and people are down to hang out. I am so blessed. Absolutely blessed. To be in that position. So I'm glad, I'm glad it works for you. I really am. <laughs> I'm, I'm incredibly thankful for that. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez. Took you long enough. Oh, thank you, Vapor Mom. an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senior. Maybe I need to move the index finger back a little bit? Let me do that. So, I'm still trying to figure this out, but it feels like my index finger wants to be just a smidgen. No, maybe. Just like a little bit. I don't know where to rest my fingers, but I'm figuring it out. Essentially on the underside. So there's, there's a ton of... Here, let me... Uh, Turn on the juice here. So there's tons of screws that you can use to adjust the angle of the fan of all the all the keys, and then also there's two screws under the like button housings, so you can sort of slide them back and forth in these rails to have them further or like closer or further away from your palm. Uh, I got the like normal model. There's like a larger hand size model too. Unfortunately, my hand was like right on the borderline between the smaller and the bigger palm size or hand size so i went with the smaller one and i actually think i may have effed myself just a teensy bit because my yeah my fingertips kind of like naturally rest right at the edges here they're like they're further back in the in the thing rather than here so it feels like they want to just be a teensy bit further forward uh but they're as far forward as they can go on this model Definitely. oops so i'm hoping i can figure something out there without you know buying another one or just getting used to this. I don't. I was worried that it would like be uncomfortable over a matter of time, but it actually feels pretty comfy right now. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or <laughs> writing the line of Malna just shit? Hell yeah. Probably both, because you usually forget shit. Oh, you got tiny ass hands. I got the medium one, and it's almost too big. I think it's also like. It's kind of down to how you hold your hand. I think I just tend to splay instead of like play play curled up. Just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Shave off a little plastic? That's a good point. I guess I could go in there and try and drill out the, the slides a little bit. Get a little more space out of it. Could do that. A lot of the a lot of the parts are 3D printed. So could sand it down a little bit. Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. no pressure, but uh Ah, interesting. Uh, Spiffing Brits found out that the community post part of YouTube was drastically over-recommending any channel that used it. He posted his testing method, and YouTube issued a response saying it was overtuned. The Rooster Teeth family channels have been using it ever since. Wow. Yeah. Now, every... That happens with every network, and I'm, I'm tired of it, man. Every time that a network basically... A social media service basically adopts a feature from another one, they incentivize people to use it the the easiest and cheapest way they have which is to just rank people up in the algorithm that abuse it so or that use it excuse me but i'm like i don't i don't need to post tweets on instagram i don't need to post insta photos on twitter but they really want you to do that shit i don't need twitter to turn into discord but everybody wants to be that so whatever luckily i don't give a shit and i don't have to care that's why it's so annoying to put your i mean I guess Twitch will do it at some point too, but um, it's annoying to put your have your revenue come from a corporate system that just by twiddling AI knobs can compel you to use features and shit you don't want to use. But all right, let's see what old them's the brakes. Can you try to send it back? The company that seems to take pride in customer service. I wrote them. Uh, I wrote them yesterday, but it is Easter weekend, so maybe I don't want to like I don't want to float all that out there because this is. Each one is sort of custom made. You can sort of tell that all the parts are are fitted. So I'm hoping that there is some something that can be done or maybe a partial exchange, but we'll see. 
Uh, they still haven't patched it yet. Channels that make a daily post, even if it's completely unrelated to their channel, have been able to grow faster than promoted channels. Do you think it could help inside games? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I don't know that I want to take that on or do that. Uh, but probably. Probably. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gun. That's some amount of job, effort. Then drop their corpse in a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, B. Gracias, Dios. Where you know? Brought your wheels. Give them to my guy yesterday. To I also don't want to annoy all the. Not that I would, but I don't want to just suddenly annoy all the subscribers to that channel by just posting a lot of fluff, just because I think it'll, like, push it in front of people. Hey, Dragon Jetpack, thanks for the two years of subs. I see random ass community posts to channels I've never heard of all the time. Yeah, I do too, it's annoying. I, I don't like it. So... Much appreciated. I'm trying to think of exactly how to... Okay, V. V is a button that is bound. Is it this? That's not V. Are you V? You're not V. Are you V? If I were V, where would I be? Uh, is it bound? Maybe it's not. Oh shit. Alright. Maybe, maybe it could be this. Yeah, maybe that's V. All right, accept. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about There's a channel that completely demonetized themselves that I watch that still posts more frequently since people figured that out. <laughs> Let's feel this factory new ride. Uh, I did see, actually now that I think about it, I did see a surge of like new shit when I did a community post. Ah, uh, well. But no wonder, man. No wonder my channel's been in the shitter lately. But that makes a lot of sense. Again, luckily, I don't have to care about it. YouTube doesn't generate much money. Um, I just do it for the hell of it. Inside Games is kind of another story. But... I'm not burning that hot on that project or that channel. Because it's, you know, I'm not getting paid to do it. It's not... It's for fun. It's not my job right now. So, uh... When it comes to, like... Um... Trying to manipulate the algorithm to, uh... Get a more advantageous position. Whatever. Rooster Teeth can post about their... 200th new podcast. All they want. I'm not really in that anymore. Not in that... Not in that... Not in that ocean chopping it up. I should say they do have a Patreon, but they just flip the bird to YouTube's content monitoring for advertisements because they are a firearms, technology, and history channel. Well, that's, I mean, that's that's ideal. That's great that they 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 got direct revenue from the from the audience. Because yeah, that is I could see why that would be fringe content for YouTube. Hey V, Doctor Vector will see you now. Any teasers for the next Inside Games episode? It's actually up right now, which reminds me, I need to. Uh, it went up this morning. Which reminds me, I gotta update the Nightbot command. Don't anyone use it yet. Don't use it yet. Don't use it. Don't use it. Don't use it. Don't use it yet. Don't don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Oh I forgot about that. If you click and drag outside the window, this stupid thing will Okay. Now you may use it. Now I give you permission to use the inside games. Command. Malcolm! You used it! You used the command before I said you Damn, could. How dare you? But yeah, new episode went up like uh, an hour or two ago. Shocker, it's about cyberpunk. Shocker. But man, people like cyberpunk. People like clicking about cyberpunk. The, why are these people... Why, is, why are you scared? I threw a grenade at people very... Oop, very, very far away. I never recruited the kitty in my other playthrough. What the hell is this? What are you eating, cat? Those look like beads. Are those Easter eggs? Are those teeny tiny Easter eggs? I mean, there's no way, right? Huh. I 
Is Cyberpunk your new anthem? Uh, Vicky, probably even everyone. more than anthem. Ripper, it's good to see it. Good to see you too, V. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, Bruce and I are doing um gaming news again. Uh, Krusty Jugglers. Uh, if you want gameplays, actually, Bruce and I have been playing through Resident Evil Six. I have VODs and, like, more youtube style highlights of that on my channel. What do I owe the pleasure today? So, if you're looking for that kind of thing, that's there. Jack into the client, you're in bad shape. I think I might have gotten spiked. Ooh, Sonic. Thank you for the cheer. Migraines, nausea. Weapon LTK, you're extremely pretty. Lights. You're the most pretty. Old kit and caboodle. And Dragon Jetpack. All right, Thank kid. you very much for the Sorts two of years of such. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex. Miss Joel's art streams? Me too. Leaks. I miss He's Joel in general. Before. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. What are you thinking of this crazy claw? I gotta admit, uh... Quit crying. I I wasn't super way. feeling it. I I like tooled around with it for like ten mm. minutes, and I was like, I don't know about this. Last time. But I've, I'm settling into it. I think. I'm settling into it. I was like hitting all kinds of like crazy paddles and buttons. I would like panic Chill, anytime please. I had to hit something. Sit down. But it's kind of making a lot more sense. I feel like I I set up the controller better to mimic my mental layout of, of the left side of a keyboard, so it's working pretty well. Have you any plans to finish RE6, or did I miss it? No, we haven't finished it yet, and we will, because that game rules. Be right under the circumstances. Why is everybody talking about Bruce? Uh, just somebody, yeah, let somebody me try my code. Up. Now Jack in. Uh, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. You peruse and choose. While Thank I you for stand. the gigantic cheer. What's going on inside? Thank you very, very much. Vic is a great character. He is. I. There are a few characters in, in Jackie's uh, Misty, you know, there, there are characters that kind of surround V that they intentionally cram with so much kind, almost archetypal warmth and humanity. So, you know, like Misty's your 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 doe-eyed pixie dream girl kind of like heart of gold, but kind of floaty sensibilities. Jackie's like the older brother you always wanted. Uh... Vic is like a, I even call him like a dentist or something, where he's got such a great bedside manner uh, that you can't help but love him. So I feel like it's a very concentrated uh, effort on behalf of the writing to introduce you to kind of like warm and human characters to almost like intentionally say this is not gritty and grim dark all the way through. This isn't a, a story about humanities. Humanity being erased Mark one, like with I science said. fiction. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance... Criticism. No middle ground characters. They're either super blur. fleshed out or shallow as fuck. Just remember, your body will still show up as mm. crystal clear. Mm. I, guess, mm. I guess that's... This I can see that. Trick. I feel like Evelyn is a good middle ground. You only see her very briefly, but the bits you hear about her I'm ready. paint a whole other Wait. like partial story that you just Excellent. don't get. Let's do this. Um Play that major league arm of yours right here. I feel like some of the nomad characters were kind of halfway. You know, there's some some hints about a, a, a previous life and some lines that are interesting. Just like that. Thanks. Elizabeth? No, Is Elizabeth the Arasaka? The older the older lady? Feel anything? Oh yeah. I gotta make sure I uh really I gotta make sure I keep uh um, like what's her name alive this playthrough. On and on. So I can get the ultimate melee what weapon, actually. Now? Malcolm! Remember, I'm old. Thank you very much for the sub. Oh, well thank you, Trey. Could for the sub gift. Lights out for a minute. I haven't seen right. Trey in chat for a while. Didn't you already Just ask like me that? that? Is it? Yeah, Meredith. That's right. Sonic, thank you for another cheer. She was a wasted character. You mean Meredith? 
Meredith Stroud. That's it. Okay, let's. How many times have you played through 2077? Just one. Action. This is my second play. Thinking you in. And I haven't really got, haven't really uh, got anywhere yet. Still in you tutorial, basically. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. I thought all the I thought all the fixers were really interesting, and I wanted to know more about them. But it kind of makes sense why they wouldn't just tell you everything. Feel all right to you? That's more of like I feel like that's more like Bioware style of just random NPC because you've known each other for twenty minutes decides to tell you everything about their shadowy backstory, even though you have a purely professional Can relationship. Keep me waiting all day. Oh, this is fantastic. Baby. Got my cyber eyes finally. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's really the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes. Yeah, some of the Ripper docs had interesting, like, lines of dialogue that implied a lot, but not a whole lot of meat beyond that. I, I always thought it was interesting how different fixers had different preferred styles. Regina usually wants to do stuff without blood. Mullet guy usually wants everyone dead. Padre wants precision and killing. Yeah, I feel like there's kind of almost hints of... Hints of something a little more meaningful behind some of that stuff. How, like, maybe fixers would give you bonus... Well, I guess fixers do give you bonuses if you hit their, hit their objectives and stuff. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Honestly, it's not that unrealistic. As a counselor, people just start telling me all sorts of shit about themselves, even if we're just chatting at the store for like five minutes. Huh. That's... that. You're not wrong about that, though. I'll, I'll admit, yeah. That's been my experience, too, in life. If you... People just want other people to know what they're going through, you know? And that, that can be happiness, it can be sadness, it can be anything. Most people, I think, do like talking about themselves. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Depends on the person. Now draw yeah. your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. I guess I just, I really wouldn't expect a fixer in Night City to get personal with anybody, but. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. When it happens in game, I'm like, ah, relatable. A new person telling me too much information about themselves. I guess that's how you know that you're in the right profession. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. I guess there's just something about your demeanor that invites uh, people to Go share. On, Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot. That is Z, yes. Good. Alright, now I got Cyber Eye. What? No! Cat ate all the food! Ah! Uh, why did you do that? Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Yeah. Where... Gotta buy more? Yeah, I guess so. Mm. What difficulty? I've only played hard and won't play anything less. Looking forward to the top one. I did very hard in my last playthrough, and it, it wasn't hard. <laughs> uh, the game, kind I mean, much like The Witcher 3 and really kind of all of the games they've made so far, they're, uh, the games aren't super mechanically tuned for, for like an even challenge. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes Wait, oh, Jackie, the right. to beat through them? There's one thing about Cyberpunk I like that made one journalist complaints about LGBT representation seem really dumb once you played more. They said there weren't LGBT care. Uh oh. Ooh. Patch. Patch trash. Interesting. Interesting. Can't make a game run, huh? Can't make a game run. Uh, they said there weren't LGBT characters. I mean, while before the start of the first act, you meet a, a gay man, a lesbian, and a trans woman. Yeah. Uh, there's a split in that. The, um, as sad as it is to say it like this, well, that process is still running somewhere. Um, because this, this sounds like very conspiratorial, but you could see the, like, you could see the, the narrative spinning up before the game was even out that, um, that people were going to go in on this game for one reason or another. People were ready to do it. 
Um, and they were originally going to go in on how like like socially uh, regressive the game was. That it was a it, it was an edge lord game made by an edge lord company um, because it had an ad with a visible dick on a woman in it. Like I don't. It's it's a hell, heavy vault to get from that to transphobic, but you know whatever. It's not. I guess I really need to remember that it's not my place to say what is and isn't. But I think you're correct. People sure to jump to a lot of uh, real intense uh, and and very extreme conclusions, um, having only seen promo material. And they had heavily spun up that narrative that you know there was there was enough social evil here to attack, regardless. And then the game came out, and it turns out there were some bugs, and it didn't run very well. And that then that's the narrative. But the negativity narrative was already there, and a lot of media outlets were gleefully running with it because it gets clicks. So it was going to happen one way or the other. It's an important thing to think about sometimes. And yeah, it's interesting how they uh, once once they had like bigger, stronger uh, accusations, like uh, employee maintenance or employee um, exploitation and all this stuff. Once they had like stronger bats, then they dropped the weaker ones. <laughs> like we don't need this anymore. I don't want to play with you anymore. Now I have this. So whatever. Are we saying this game is sexist? No, um, no, no. There were, there was just tons of, uh, what the heck's going on here? Is it, are we going? There was a lot of chatter before the game came out, right up until the game came out really discussing how uh socially regressive cyberpunk was going to be mm. what do we have going on here it's there maybe i need to maybe i gotta cycle good old games here is there another process e background service damn you I installed that to get the EA Play stuff. Yeah, there's actually there's a lot of ex executables that are just resident. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Not tidy at all. Video stream. What are you doing there? All right, let's, let's cycle this. I don't think this is an embarrassing one. No, that's fine. What a classy wallpaper. <sighs> CDPR being a gamer company is just what 4chan says. I mean, they say it themselves, too. Um... Not not gamer TM, but gamer like just straight gamer. I think they pride themselves on being in tune with real gamer culture, which is feels to me a little bit like where some of the sting came from with how uh, Cyberpunk was received. But that's just me. That's just me thinking, speaking in head head cannon. That's my CDPR fan fiction. I write fan fiction about the board nightly. Oh boy. Except, except the game won't run now. I I haven't read I haven't read or haven't read uh, <laughs> I haven't written any fan fiction about this. How is this going to end? I might have to reboot my uh, my machine. Uh, teardrops on Mars. You here for the Cyberclaw cam? Well, it's here, but there's not a lot to Cyberclaw right now. CD or Cyberpunk crashed. I know. Weird. I think it just takes. A million years to launch now. <laughs> Maybe. Was the process doing anything? See, yeah, it's not registering as a... It's not registering as one of these guys. Hmm. I hate to say it, but you're in bad shape. Yeah, it's not using any CPU... Uh, it's not doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. Sonic, <laughs> thank you much for the cheer. Thank you very much. All right. I think. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna power cycle my computer. Uh. Oh, Nikki. Thank you for the sub. Wish you and everyone safety and good health. Currently recovering. Feel like shit. Hopefully recovering from a second vaccine shot or something like that. Sixty four hoops. Thanks for the resub. Uh, how's life? Pretty good. Pretty good. Cyberpunk's wrenching me up right now because it won't run, which is interesting. Uh, all right, I'm going to reboot real quick. The video is going to like stutter because it's actually streaming from this computer. So it's going to run out for a bit. So the stream might disconnect for a second, but uh, hopefully it won't. All right. 
I should be back shortly. Actually, I'm going to get up and use the restroom while my computer re reboots. So, just a bit of a cyberpunk. Exactly right. All right I'll be back soon. All right. I am proud to say everything's fine. It was actually fine a while ago, uh, but I wanted to eat a sandwich, so I did. Hey, everyone. Feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City? Oh yeah. Could I don't think I listened to the whole dialogue at the beginning of the game, so I'm gonna check Apparently, this out. Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. <laughs> but honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Oh, man, that's, that is insensitive. <laughs> I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Anywho. Like all the booty in the game? Amen. There was a fair amount of boot. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. Can you fly things in this game? No. You uh, Kid, show them what you're made of. You get to you get to and be in a flying car, a couple of times, depending on depending on your origin story. I gotta pet the cat again. Ah, let's see here. Uh, Tomcat brought up a good point about the trans character thing that when that ad originally came, it's initially came to the public eye. There were some journalists that were concerned about the game just fetishizing trans people, all the trap porn. Most of the people that originally re released their concerns I thought were respectful. The trans woman on Kotaku that wrote about it didn't even say directly it was transphobic. Merely raised her concerns about poor representation. Sure. Uh, yeah. I... The thing is, the level of scrutiny there is well beyond it, the, anything any other game gets. Uh, and I guess... I guess that's... That could be put on the fact that that imagery was in pre-release material, but I have what I have seen, um, and this is this has been run on Polygon and Kotaku, is consensus that the marketing was driven by those things when it absolutely was not. Um, that that the Chromanicore image that was honestly the center and only issue. I guess, I guess there was actually the, the the voice issue as well, which is I on, honestly think a bit more substantial. But uh, people people had already whipped themselves into a fury by the time that even happened. Um, that was just an image showing off ray tracing. It was an image on an NVIDIA blog post um, that just had one of those ads in the background. Black, babe. I can release it for you. Now granted, uh, nobody knows that. Or nobody knew the context of the ads before the game came out. <sighs> v, yo, listen up. But, uh... I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's people people were already calling the game transphobic before it came out. To where he's and... The burgers. Okay. There were... Talk is up. Definitely articles on websites that, if they didn't use that word, very definitely uh, in, implied it and invited people to use it. Um, there was that... There was that article that Polygon re ran like one day before the game came out or like maybe right when the game came out that was it was like a rundown of every like violation CD Projekt had made leading up to the launch of the game and they were all like they were all massively like taken out of context and misrepresented Do you and, truly believe? I don't know hey, oh wait listen, he's, yeah. I've got this delicate matter that's why I called you the number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise now that's probably not trying to remember where T is. But this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker. Leaves your other hand for activities. I hope that's all clear. Idle. Hmm. Playing in the devil's playground. Yeah, I... So... I, I guess, uh... Just kind of thinking over my words. I didn't mean to imply that no one had a reason to be concerned. But... I think it was pretty clear that, like... People were already sort of circularly whipping themselves into a fury and... 
and inventing things to be mad about. How's biz, Misty? Boom. And yeah, I mean, You're the first it makes me wonder if, if the game had really two come out ago, in perfect condition if pe lost. if writers and people, people would have leaned into that harder. They lost their spiritual connection. But well, but it know, did kind of get overshadowed by the game's them, performance the issues. But uh, it's it's kind of the center of all things. That's uh. Nah, mind. Those are those are concerns that have a lot of visibility now, which is a good thing. Oh, yeah, this guy. He gets a cool jacket. I mean, I thought I was being nice. Whoa. Is that jacket supposed to be doing that? Oh! Get an honest job! Jeez. Woo! I got a ramp car! Oh boy, please don't kill me when I get in you. Please. Please don't kill me. Alright. No problem. My car's got ramp tech. I am so glad I didn't run anyone over shit. Oh wait, no, that's something else. That's true, I did say they don't have flying cars. I lied. Why would I lie like that? You almost killed a dude. I didn't. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is not fine. The claw has not failed me. How dare you? A pleasure. The claw is my friend, my companion, and my lover. Ample indeed. Let's how people want to chew and bash things apart instead of wanting to enjoy a new thing. It's unfortunate. Mr. Nobody. Die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all time. They can come from a lot of different places. Smelling near like post Defensiveness. Retaliation. Yeah. Are you crazy? You're either somebody or you fizzle out and Nug, you. thank you for the Night cheer. City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be I already told you. But folk who try to take yeah. advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. I like his glasses. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? I should probably turn on this light. Things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's your starting area? Uh, I was nomad this time. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right. Not a whole lot to do at the Cyberclaw right Some now. Brothers from Pacifica got back. Is that a glove with Don't every button and finger and thumb and buttons? Yes. <laughs> it's a glove with multiple buttons anyway, per finger and then a thumb stick and also a thumb D-pad. The and there's a paddle there's a paddle out here. There's a paddle right there. Come on. Your I'll show you the full breadth of it so I can boop 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 Maybe just gotta eh. Yeah, see the framing's just not so kind for the paddle. Person and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. It's the controller that holds your hand. Exactly. 
I can't wait for Final Fantasy VII Remake to come out on PC because then I'll feel Tifa's metallic claws digging into my my fingers. Why is his pants steaming? He's got vape pants. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. I have dozens of pieces of tech like this from companies that are dead and gone. Where can I get this? Yeah. King Saren Sane. This is the glory of being a PC gamer. The gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate won Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce. I think I had a Nostromo way back in the day. Royce is in charge now. And I got <laughs> you think no you're so no big. Yes, I do. His predecessors were. King Gamer. One Meredith Stout of Militech has developed. Oh yeah, bathtub girl. He's kind of back there. I need to scoot him up. Who's the prima donna? I'll protect you. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Ah, seraphic ca caviar. Or seraphic aviary. Excuse me. Thank you very much for the cheer. It does not have rumble. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it in now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. It does seem like that's the shading on the eyes has been fixed, because that looks that looks really good. Also, yeah, the reflections in his glasses. Ugh, so good. God, this lighting is so good. I don't think I've ever seen interior car lighting on like a, a human model that's that good. Uh, this game looks so good in Hyper HD. It really does. Does the background still look sort of blurry? You mean like through the window? Uh, not that I can tell. The smoke is probably playing a little bit of hell on the One Twitch bitrate right now. Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm. This character is blaze of glory for sure. I mean, I guess everyone playing every V is blaze of glory. Later now. Yes, sir. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah? <laughs> Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before chatty. the gang goons had to switch up in management. Right? Okay, that is Z. All right. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Huh. <laughs> Shing on. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. But I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. I don't think I've ever seen Twinktopia before. Despacito? What? I'm still listening to good music in the future, I see. I 
Eroticrome. <laughs> Despacito 2, still not out. Maybe they'll patch it in later. Here for a pickup. Order number forty. Yeah, let's see how the kids the kids look. Ah, uh, wearing a mask. You got a big dumb face. <laughs> Damn, kid, fucking light me up like that. Yeah, yeah, forty-eight. Here I thought monks had to give up all the earthly pleasures. You know? I know. It's uh, it's for a friend. Just helping a friend. Kill him? I don't. I think you fully cannot kill kids. <laughs> I think this game would not be rated in a few regions if you could straight up murder children. Most games don't let you do that. Pretty much all of them. I can't think of a single one. Like, there are no kids in Grand Theft Auto. Something... Something we're thinking about. I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Fallout 1 and 2. That's true. There was an, there was an in game, like, what, perk? You got a trait for it? Hey there! Oh, OG Deus Ex, man. Oof. Yeah, I guess Bioshock kind of, sorta. You have nothing better to do. T Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point, if you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Okay. Dang it. No. That was what I wanted. Hold on. What's the quest I just picked up? It's the gift, right? Yeah. Quick ping, quick hack in your inventory. All right. That is this way. No, it's not. That's the map. It's this way. No, it's not. It's that way. There we go. That's weird. Why is there a zero in the upper right? With the ping, ping this. Oh. This is probably the last time I'll, I did this so much my other playthrough and I already messed it up. There we go. Oh, so much breach protocol, so much, so much hack. It was worth it, it was beautiful, but. I've done that, I've done it. I don't need to do it again. Uh, I also need to spend some stats. Blades. Yes, blades. Ooh. Cool. I'm, I don't remember the, seeing a lot of, like, dialogue checks for, uh, reflexes. So it'll be curious to see. Is that my car? Hey! Maybe not, actually. Oh, you are my car! Hooray! Did they remove the bottom skill tree? Oh, it's not just a... Yeah, I didn't even look at that. Yeah, it's gone. <sighs> How interesting. Guess they just didn't have time to sweep it up. All right, uh, that's not the journal. Is it, is it this way? No, is it that way? There we go. One of these days I'll get it like second try. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to Evelyn, which means I'll be doing the brain dance tutorial. Oh boy, that takes a long time. Can I get an, oh yeah, Leon? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Is your other hand on a mouse? Yes, it is. Ow! So, I get all the- I get a analog stick and a mouse. 
I get I get it all. I've got it all. I love playing low intelligence in Fallout games. Yeah. I was really bummed in Fallout 4. I made like a one intelligence character and it just didn't mean a damn thing. I was like, uh, well, I guess this isn't Fallout anymore. I mean, it, I guess there were some things, but yeah. Fallout 2 low intelligence run is a, is a real thing of beauty. Alright. I think there's, they give you an opportunity to wait if you just we're come here. Right now. Yeah, skip ahead. It's backspace. Psh. Master Boar. Thank you for the sub. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be Outer Worlds lets you do low intelligence? Uh, yeah, Outer Worlds seems like it was no their drugs, no attempt to sort of re recreate or reclaim Someone that classic Fallout travel. sensibility. I'll see you, Nikki. Hopefully, hopefully you feel better. Sorry you had a, had a rough, rough go of it, but... Like I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll be here gaming if you ever need somebody to take your mind off things. Stop well, calling me that. Hi, what a sweet little face you have. Can candy crush in there? Kiss my dead spunk! Okay, someone's mad. Oh boy, it's only a matter of time until a very suggestive name pops up there. That I should probably turn that off. Attention. Unfortunately, I think it bundles all notifications, so if I want achievements to pop up, and I absolutely do, I have to leave I have to leave that on too. Chris Kringle, thank you for the cheer. Oh, did her audio peak? Yeah, I think it was just a bit loud in general. You get a lap dance in this game. I mean, you can you can have sex with sex workers. So I guess I'm not sure about specifically getting a lap dance, but fine. I was curious if I have a tiger, babe. Why did I do that? Do you have any idea who I am? Fucking dots. Yeah, I mean, should I? Ooh. This artwork is so good. I wish this game had more to do with, with brain dances instead of just having them be junk items. Yeah. I mean, there's some quests that really, really go in there for some cool moments. Uh, there's some, some fucked up stuff that happens through the lens of brain dance, but it's not as much as you'd expect. It does feel like it's a tool set that they built and like they had just enough time to build the tool set and the concept and that and like get it working. And then they, it was time for the game to ship. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Tomcat, maybe the, maybe the ex expansions will explore brain dance a little bit more. Honestly, that was true of a lot of the mechanics in wild hunt. Wild hunt had a lot of stuff, just a lot of gameplay systems that were kind of just there. But then Hearts of Stone, and especially Blood and Wine, found ways to use them in really interesting and, and much more meaningful ways. This one's me. Hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Big tip of generous when I get the answers. Gotta gotta do those cool lines every time. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But I'm afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. It's kind of a neat idea of auto-selecting your dialogue based on what you're looking at. 
How do you know? I like to know everything. Also, the way they do dialogue in this game feels like super like old school Fallout to yes. me. Oh, look at my perception. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing. There's more brain dance content, including free roam stuff. Mm -hmm. They said they couldn't finish it before release, so I might try to get it out as DLC. I'll take that as a compliment. I could see on, they've talked a lot about free DLC. Ears won't prick up to listen. Um, and in in Witcher, I guess that was like clothing and hairstyles and stuff. Asks. But I could definitely see them uh, releasing a brain dance or two as uh, as free free like content update stuff. I mean, for for understandable reasons, I think they're all hands on deck fixing the game, not necessarily adding new content to it. But yeah, speaking of booties, we got some buns. Ooh, buns so good you got to inject yourself just to look at them. No, don't cry. You got this. Going. Oh, there were free quests. Okay. Then, then that's totally in line with uh, content expectations. V. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes me sad you can't get into Fallout New Vegas. I mean, I, it's not that I can't. I just haven't yet. But I, I will. I intend to play that game still someday. But come on, when it comes to breaking in the Cyber Claw, you're not gonna ask me to play Fallout New Vegas. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Just ashes on the floor. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesman. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. Play Tetris Effect with it? Oh, jeez. That might theoretically be possible. I might actually have an adapter to, to do that, but <laughs> that's a good idea. V? Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. PC Game Pass. Tetris 99? I just want the data on this one. The Where's... chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza. I mean, I guess Effect is on Game Pass or something, right? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Hmm. Are there cyberpunk novels? Are there cyberpunk novels? Yes. Are there cyberpunk novels? Yeah, there are. I mean, this is 2020, but yeah. Official licensed cyberpunk. I mean, there's this, and then there's also the like the books for the pen and paper. They have a lot of lore and stuff in them too, and like short stories and stuff. So, yep, there's a there there cyberpunk as a property, like not 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 as a genre, but as a brand and as its own thing. Does have a couple of things going, like had a couple of things going. I don't know that any of them were great. And I've I've I started reading that book on stream, and I wouldn't call it 
amazing. Like, it's... It's pretty in the trope cyberpunk stuff. But, you know, whatever. Look, v? you've got any spur aces up your sleeve. Now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick... Perfect. Wish they'd write more books. I want to read more about the Fourth Corporate War other than those pen and paper books. Yeah, I have a couple of them that were recommended to me by uh, someone on YouTube, actually. I haven't read them yet, but I intend to be. I intend to. Spotted my ACM. Tend to be reading them. To spell things out. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... Do you like Mike Pondsmith's writing? Easy I don't know that I've read anything written directly by Pondsmith, so I can't say. Sackers. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. I feel That's like VR would be you. cool for Cyberpunk. Yeah, me plan. too. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. Speaking of, I'm gonna try to get VR working for Doom 3. Tits. Jacking off two in those boxes. And uh, hopefully that'll be what we do on Tuesday. Very useful tool. Good for analyzing no, details, no, human perception. A nice, a nice high as shit playthrough of Doom 3 in VR. So what's on the tape? Use Valve Index, get Nobody finger tracking. Ah. The glorious interior. I could finally touch. To locate the relic yourself. Could finally touch my my beautiful. Hey, we weren't finished. My beautiful cyber wives, come back. Use Vorpex. That's the one that is Vorpex. The one that turns any like direct 3D game or any DirectX game into VR. Hmm. Yeah, King. I I tried that with Skyrim back in the day, and it was just not great. Like it'll work, but it's not really. It's not really like it doesn't. It's not comfortable. You kind of have to tune games for VR, not just separate the viewpoints. Uh, uh, I can try it. But there, there is a there is a uh, a mod that adapts Doom Three to the Oculus Quest. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. So I'm hoping. No, mean to say you that's recorded cool. this? I'm hoping that'll that'll work out okay. BD Reckon sure. plans. See you soon. Why you object? Mm -hmm. Oops, I was supposed to say something to you. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. I was doing VFR, yeah, but that's not. Judy will help. She's a mox too. Besides, I feel like Doom Three would be a really good VR experience, um, just because of the lighting and this is important. The mood and the Judy's fact that all the environments are really closed in. Always helped out. I trust her, but she's a mox, not the latest. And I really, really, really don't want to hook up my stupid yeah. PlayStation Four and so, PlayStation VR, but I, I guess boy. I could. Dread lightly. Keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Does does a PS4 Pro... Because PS4 Pro is, is like the only official platform for Doom 3 VR right now. Does it run Doom 3 at 60 frames a second? There's no reason it, it wouldn't. But it probably doesn't. I guess for VR there's no way it could go under like 60. Hey. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Quest is a ton of people doing mods for desktop using Quest Link. I know I've seen a ton of Doom stuff somewhere. Do you know if Quest mods also work on Index? Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can handle it. Is there anyone else in Cyberpunk with a single letter name like V? Righto. Sit down. No. Settle in, and 
But yeah, V V is a nickname. They, you you hear V's full name a couple times, like once or twice. But it is it is a nickname. It's short for like Victor, I think, or Vincent or Valerie. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, Urge Splitting. Doing anything with the other hand? Yeah, mouse. I probably, I mean, I guess I'd still need to look. It would be possible to play most games 100% one-handed, I think, if you used, if you use some, if you like, maybe use your fingers to look around. Hmm. Oh, index is Steam only. Uh. Okay. It's built on Android, so you can load whatever you want onto it. Promise me it won't. Or just use a use it via Steam VR for any desktop app you build. Weird considering Facebook owns it. Index is Steam only. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a so is that a no? There's an adapter for your PS4 camera, so it works on PS5, allowing you to allowing you to use PSVR. You can get it from Sony for free. Okay, There's a page on their website. The oh. Well, I won't have it tomorrow. Smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an but iPad. that's a good... Yeah, I should do that. Wait, does Doom 3 run on PS5? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly... That's not a, that's not a given. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample PD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see... Oh, it's available in the store on PS5? I guess that means it's playable. Hey, just use my I don't want to buy the game again. Uh. We don't risk our necks. Sides won't take a second. If you use the mouse with this controller, what does the thumbstick do? Moves me. You need you need two sticks. So left stick is movement, right right mouse is aim. I'm I'm using the stick instead of wazd to move around. Be diving in and reading. Plan simple. Do no romancing Judy. That's true, but romancing Evelyn. No, not Evelyn. Meredith. My bad. Got it, got it. Evelyn's off the menu. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. I mean, to be honest, my hands aren't doing much right now because this is a pretty, a fairly non-interactive part of the game. I slept with Meredith as a girl. You, you can? I thought she was she was heterosexual. Oh, Yondo, you're playing Crosscode? I really like that game. They just added some like post-game story content, I think. Well, okay. Yeah, King, the the Oculus Quest mod is the one I found, which is why I'm curious if a Quest mod would work on Index, because that's the headset I have. But it looks like I just got to try it, and we'll see. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. Oh, okay. Got everything set up. Meredith takes all comers then. Nice. I'll sever the link. I depend on its back end. Yeah. I guess we'll see. Look around freely. All seems yours. Full cam control and analysis mode. So move around. Bisexual gang rise up. Meredith is dope. I agree. I'm excited to, to at least hear a little more about Meredith's character. Playback can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Hey, welcome back, Jess. All right. Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a oh yeah, Jess. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. I'm absolutely going to play Double May Cry 5 soonish. Maybe this week sometime, but I'm not sure when. But yeah. I realized I had a functioning PS5 again and I was like, huh! I forgot. I was waiting on that to uh I was waiting on that to play uh Double May Cry. Okay, that's E. Nothing odd. Don't create. You go in, 
How was the update? It's been pretty good for me. Yeah, on stream for sure. Yeah, CD Projekt put out 1.2. Uh, I. It's it's pretty good so far. Uh, the update. Then again, it was all it was always pretty good for me on PC. So. Didn't they censor that butt in the U.S. version of DMC5? Maybe. I don't know. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Breathe. You go in, snatch the cat. Did you see the real-life cat girl clip in MediaTek? Yeah, of course. I mean, I added it. I'm glad it finally played. <laughs> see, that's C. Move on. Now, heads up. Uh, how's the claw? I'm still getting used to it, but I like it. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded. Can't wait till they add new game plus to this. To the audio layer. Yeah, skipping, skipping the brain dance tutorial alone would help a lot. Oh. That's an update. Having a different a different notification on the bar when there's multiple things to scan. Okay. We have a deal today on two Everybody! So any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how big the recording implants work. They hey, what's up, Eric? All the elements Welcome. In the background. Oh, you've been using Ring Fit? Nice. Keep playing with the sound. It's crazy to me how like how long Ring Fit is and how like over the course of the whole game they'll keep adding new features and stuff. It's really nice. I need to pick Ring Fit back up. I kinda I kinda slipped off. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hello nice. Hella. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, scroll! Oops. That's like the limits of the reality recorded by the BD I guess I re- Oh, I, hold, I held the wrong thing. That's Q. Wait, that's Q? Should that be Q? That doesn't make sense. Why would that be Q? Gonna nestle my hands back in the... Oh, that's all... Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay, I get it. All right. Okay. There's a mod for Doom 3 BFG, and apparently it supports index controllers. Ooh. Uh, where where would one find that? Nug, could, could you do me a huge favor and uh? I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? That's interesting. That's different. There's like there's like somebody screaming at somebody instead of it just being the noise of the fan. Oh, that's cool. Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! It's perfect because you don't have to go to the gym. Yeah, Ring Fit puts up puts up a good a good fight. I like it. I get anxious at gyms. I do too. Plus like workouts are so personal. That I really just want to kind of be in my own, like, that is me going to the temple of my body, to put it in a very stupid way. And it feels weird and exposed to do that in a room full of other people who are doing that, too. So, uh, very, very much, uh, understand that, like, I don't know, weird vibes. Weird vibe. So, I don't know, I, I was able to buy some weights to actually before the pandemic slam and deck out my uh, my home gym uh so i've been able to to do this like in my my ideal way is that i just kind of go in and think about it's it's my meditation basically doom 3 doom 3 bfg version is on github looks like worth oculus or steam cool could somebody throw me a link i can probably find it i think i 
I bookmarked the quest one, so I'm sure I can find it, but... I still wouldn't mind getting a hot little link. Oh, you sent it to me? Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Did you, did you whisper it, or...? Most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? I the really wish this no way. window would pop out somewhere else. Okay. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Run I know they're not judging me at the gym, but they are totally judging me at the gym. Tell me what to look for. That's the thing. I don't... I'm not thinking about anyone else. I'm not judging anyone else. It is a problem. Not what we agreed as... Not try to DM in Discord. Sorry, not how to whisper in Twitch or, or have Twitter. I mean, you could just you can just paste the link in in she, chat. T bugs a professional. You won't get banned or nothing. Fault. You can trust her. Why? Cause you say so. Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. There it is. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much. That's perfect. Call I appreciate that very much. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's got its own executable. Delightful! Alright, great. That's one of my many projects to, to hey, deal with that? tomorrow. Is to get listen. Doom 3 working. Use footage from Plaza. It's a brain dance. The only thing I would judge anyone for is leaving huge messes or putting other people down. Yes! Leaving your gear everywhere. Leaning on equipment that you're not using. Um, or like sitting on equipment you're not using. Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. Just generally being Jim and considerate. This is uh. about. Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Chris yeah, Tuna or Chris Tuna. Mm, <laughs> uh, hey, what are you playing as? Cyborg, no Cyborg Nomad or Street Kid? Um, Nomad. Should be getting my request. No. Doing Nomads and Swords this time. You ready? This V's gonna be a real edgy. Okay. Connection. Real edgy asshole. Putting the dumbbells in the wrong spots irks me terribly. Jeez. Just consider yourself lucky that they somebody put them back at all. You only judged the jib for one of three reasons. One, you don't wipe the, down the equipment and leave your fucking sweat all over it. It's good. Two, you're unnecessarily loud with everything you do. Yelling while lifting weights and slamming them down. Yes. And then three, no deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> all good reasons to judge somebody. Everything else... Everything else. Oops. Oh, I hit a I hit a combo. Shift tab. Shift tab. Shift tab. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, the the dance editor got a lot got a lot of improvements. A lot. The timeline is a lot more uh communicative. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Why forgetting to wipe down equipment? I understand, but what the fuck is wrong with you to put down others in a gym? Yeah, I I don't know. I've never heard that happening. Oh, there's a fourth thing that's well, it's not annoying about people, but gyms in general, uh, loud radios. It's totally a thing to play like the radio so loud, and then. I swear the reason they do it is because they also have ads that run during the stupid radio thing they play. And it's like self-promo shit. So, I actually, uh, I went to a Gold's for a long time. And it was a, it was a fine gym, great staff, and good people there. I actually met some people there and had some good conversations there. But, um, I noticed the music would get, like, louder and louder. And I couldn't, it got to where I was, like, it was actually kind of hard to hear my music over it, which is what I was trying to do. So, I actually went up to the staff and was like, can you guys turn that down? And they said, we actually can't. Um, it's it's like corporate mandated for it to be this volume. And I was like, aha, now it makes sense because they need to market to everybody and they know everyone wears headphones. So they have to like have it blare through your fucking music. And that was that was the thing. That was the thing that uh, finally cracked me. I was like, no, uh, -uh. no, no, no. I'm not going to have them advertise to me while I'm paying money to be here. Bleh. The gym I have when... Uh, the gym I went to to have TVs with no audio in front of the cardio stuff had a moderate volume of music playing. Yeah, yeah. The that there was another gym that I went to where like it was just TVs and people could like turn them up. 
So you'd go in there and somebody would just walk in and like put on a sports game and put the volume on max so they could like listen to it while they were playing. So that was always really annoying. Fuck who are you? Such a such a good slash terrible line, man. Hotel Sponge, you got that 420 channel points. Nice, 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 nice. No. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for oh, good. Oh, I actually missed something. But uh, make yourself comfortable. Oh, there we go. I need a minute. Something is scannable here. It's like only right here though. What the heck is this about? Oh, it was doing it. What were you doing? Oh, it was just scanning this again? There's no way that's it, right? Nah. This is the only other thing that's like kind of highlighted. Oh. Oh, don't drive me crazy like this. Oops. Ah, oh, man. You, like holding something or what do you think gyms are going to be like post covid i mean i i assume they're going to be exactly what they were like pre covid i don't i don't foresee that substantially changing in any way Dang it, where's this last scannable? Ah, uh, you probably don't need that one though. If there's lines in the bar, you already scanned it? I don't think that's true. I think that just means, that means there's something there. It goes away when you've already scanned it. I think. I've already scanned it, but I'm scanning it again. I think it's her purse. Yeah, maybe? Because, yeah, that's the thing she, like, takes out. She's... like, the pad? Huh. Yeah, like, kind of sparkles. I had trouble with this also. I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna be tough to find everything. I mean, I'm going, I'm going, uh, I'm being obsessive right now. Oh, maybe go to first person. That's a good. You can't really look around in first person though. I don't think you can scan in first person. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation. Oh. Could be something important. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers gotta be fancy doodads in here. Need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is. Yeah, see, the thing goes away when you scan it up. Or when you scan everything. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. Utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. 
We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know it. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business. They changed the visual effects of the brain dance camera. I mean, it's it's just running sm sm more smoother, ah, more smoothly now. Um, the timeline indicators are a little bit different, but the visuals seem about the same. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, got any candy left? Step was pr pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah. You'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Hmm. I had the hardest time checking every simple single thing doing this part. Yeah, it's it's hard not to to see things and not scan them. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chips like got to this stay guy. Freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip. Checked out the cyberpunk extras in the program files. Actually, no, I haven't. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Yeah, she like, she's taking a photo, I think. But, or like, fucking with her purse. She's holding it up, but like. There's, there's nothing to scan here. Why are you trying to have me scan something? It does. I mean, whatever. I don't think that's an objective you need, but still, it's weird. You got to know I want to scan. I came to scan. She's grabbing her bag in front of her because she's scared. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's an awfully intimidating thing to see. I said no. Yeah, maybe they maybe they put a maybe they're putting like red herring things on the mar on the uh, timeline oh, to mess with you a little bit. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try though. Uh, M K Ohanek or M Kahanek. Thank you very much for the prime and Drock Irish Mafia. Thank you for the sub. This game updated it all. Uh, sorry, you asked that a long time ago. But yes, they just put out a pretty huge patch. Yeah, they put this like. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. 
How are the ergonomics on this? I mean, they're very good so far. My, my hand feels extremely comfy. Uh, this model is just a teensy, just a teens too small, unfortunately. Um, in their, uh, in their like sizing chart, my hand was right on the edge in between like the normal size and the large size. So I went with the large size, but uh, I don't know. I think I think I probably needed the larger one. So yeah, this comes back, but it's already been scanned, and they won't let me scan it again. But yeah, this indicates that there's like another audio scannable somewhere. I don't we see have not seen eye to eye for the past twenty years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. <laughs> the relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not write them. Enough. So can you read it? Alright, whatever. I think I'm done here. Mm, it wasn't long. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. Does it control like joystick movement or more like mouse movement? Do you think you could play Doom or Overwatch with the claw? I mean, yeah. Uh, oh fuck! I think it. I think it just locked up again. Oh baby. Ah uh, man. Yeah. You probably don't believe this, but I actually still miss you on and the show Inside Gaming. Well, Kusara Chef, I have great news for you. Um, Bruce and I are basically doing that show again. Um, if you thank you, Death Moon. Yeah, there's a there's a show that we made called Inside Games. Yes, that's really what it's called. Where uh, I, I I write the thing and we we host it and edit it and all that good shit. So enjoy. God. Uh. There we go. Oh, okay, there's a the error reporter is is active but not doing anything. Okay. I wonder if it'll let me go right back in. Actually, unfortunately, well, okay, the the process isn't hanging this time, so maybe it actually got out of there gracefully. Nice wallpaper. You didn't even see my wallpaper. Maybe you did. I don't know. That's that. That's somebody very proud of their uh Famicom disk system copy of uh, of metroid i wonder if it'll actually run this time or is it is it one of these where i have to reboot every time the game hard locks okay that's a that's a more gracious crash that actually is running again but i gotta um no it just indicates that there is something there the timeline highlights don't go away when you've scanned everything they go away sometimes though so what's that all about because they definitely do go away when you scan things. Oh, you were joking that Frozen Cyberpunk was a new wallpaper. I understand. I get it now. It was a, a humor joke. Boy, do I love those humor jokes. Oh, uh, what was that app you had? Looked like it held up all your games on different distributors. Oh, <laughs> are you referring to the good old games Galaxy client from, from CD Projekt? Yes, that is exactly what this does. So, I should mention, I am uh, partnered with good old games... But they don't pay me. I make zero money. But they do give me free games sometimes. So they they are t they are giving me free games to shill this for you, which I am about to do. But yes, this is the good old, good old game or GOG Galaxy client. That's what they call it. Um, it does collect all of your games from every. You just have to sign into stuff, but it'll pull all your games from you know all the different stores and stuff you owned into one giant library. Um, so I guess I own fourteen hundred and forty games. Uh, it is kind of nice too because I think this is this might actually be behind, but if you click on subscriptions, you can see like yeah, this is behind. I guess this hasn't updated in a while. For a while there, it would actually list like the games from Xbox Live Gold and stuff, uh, which was really cool. But no longer. But yeah, the APIs actually let you you can log into all your services and then they're all here. So more than once, I've wondered like, do I have that game? I mean, do I have Sakura Clicker? Is what I would think. And then you can just go to God Galaxy and search for it. And provided that you're logged into everything, it'll it'll find it and tell you what you have it on. Um, yeah, I probably... I think... Yeah, you can resync. You're right. I guess I... Yeah, I just need to do that manually. What the heck is this? Six guns. Well, I guess I have six guns on Xbox. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a Game Pass thing. But yeah, it's, it's a neat service. And then it gives you all sorts of like 
ridiculous stats, and <laughs> uh, huge lists of all your shits. It's kind of nice. So I'm into it. I like it. I use it. It's it's basically the portal I use to get to all my games. So yeah, hashtag ad. They've given me free games. Uh, are you gonna doing an interview with Hugo Martin? I hope so. Uh, did you, did you make another account? Um, I hope so. We'll see. I'm I'm kind of small potatoes. I think. Um, if I were Hugo Martin, I wouldn't spend my time talking to me. To uh, I'll put it that way. But we'll see. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get up and stretch for a little bit, and then come back with more hashtag ad. That's right. It's Conqueror's Blade season. I'm still going to be using this thing. So I'll still be putting it through its paces. I'll probably be hitting even more buttons. So there might actually be more action <laughs> coming up. Because, yeah, the intro cyberpunk's pretty slow. So I'll be back. Uh, if you don't know what Conqueror's Blade is, it's just like massive scale medieval warfare. Think, uh, think like Dynasty Warriors, except it also has artillery and shit. All right. I'll be back in just a second. Going to get up and stretch, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> 